Welcome into the Dice Dragons Guild. In this hall, we unite under one banner. Live by the die. Die, die by, by the, the die. die. Oh, oh no. It's always middle of the road. Oh, middle of the road. I am your lore master for the evening, Izzy. And with me, I have... I'm Amanda. I play Iolite, and I rolled a 12. A 12 for Iolite. Okay. I'm Cuba. I play Isla. I rolled a 10. We're not with my regular dice, though. That's probably why it's a 10. A 10? It's all your fault. I was like, wait a minute. This isn't, doesn't belong here. Yourself. That's a backup. <laughs> I'm Adam, I play Elden, I rolled a 17. Wow. Nice. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm Patrick, I play Kai, and I rolled a 9. 9. I'm Julia, I play Kathra, and I rolled a 2. Oh, two. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Quick, squeeze all your thingies. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> what a comedic noise. No, yeah, just, the, no <laughs> sound like the, the gremlins when they get wet and the bubbles start popping. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta reline everything up because my neurodivergent lineup's all screwed up. <laughs> all right. So, uh, thank you for joining us for our session 56 of our story here in Eliosis. Lots of different ways that you can follow the story. You can watch us on Twitch on Sundays at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can watch the VODs on YouTube, or you can check out our Patreon as well. Um, all of these have some perks to them, like badges or channel points or stickers and early access to the VODs, um, after sessions, all of that fun stuff that we share. And the podcast version is out on Mondays. We also have merch. Some old merch over here. Brew Bottle Tavern from this our first on campaign. On Tee Public. Public. And then over here we have our Woven Fates shirts. <laughs> Not on Tee Public. Support our latest story. <laughs> on our fourth wall page. Thank you. On so welcome, much, kids. Um, all right. Cons and events. Um big thank you to Monument Studios. They are uh, doing a Kickstarter which is already fully funded for their audio library. It's called Fantasy Plus. They have given us access to all of the sounds and everything, so you are going to be hearing their ambience, their sound effects, and music throughout as we play. Um, just going forward because we got access to it and have backed their, their Kickstarter. Um, let's see... Uh, the um, links will be in the show notes. We are also using music from Alexander Miller or the Boy King of Idaho, uh, Kevin McLeod or Incompetech, and Michael Gelfie Studios. So again, all of that is going to be shared. Um, but Monument Studios, you can check out their Kickstarter. Again, fully funded. They, they already have the product. It's been around for a while. They're just trying to rebuild it from scratch and make it better. Um, so I think they've also hit a milestone, one of their milestones. So um, go check it out. And then we are going to King Richard's Fair on, I know I'm spitting, September 29th. <laughs> um, September 29th. We will be there enjoying ourselves with friends. So hopefully we will come see Come find you. us. Yeah, come find us if you're going to go. Pictures are only five dollars. Everybody wants to meet up, like here or something, like somewhere. We could take the, the RV, the camper. We'll all go in one big crew. Ooh, okay. We'll have power. We'll can have... we can we paint a dragon on the side of it? You think my dad's gonna say no? To that <laughs> that probably, would be fun. He's probably painting one on there as we speak. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> all right. So we'll see you there. We'll be there all day. With, like, this, the random drums in the background. As the sun dips below the horizon, the streets of Moswick come alive with the vibrant celebrations of the Fortune 10 Festival. 
Amidst the flurry of colors and the cheerful din of laughter and music, Kaylin Leifel, the once confidently proclaimed best hunter on Yamari Island, finds herself surrounded by the warmth of close friends and the potential, that's really loud, of uh, new beginnings. With her, walking arm in arm, is Thalorin, a tall, gentle half-elf whose deep connection with her has begun to blossom into something more intimate. His supportive presence has been a steadfast comfort, especially through her recent trials. Kaylin's red hair, freshly styled in her signature playful pixie cut, catches the festival lights, matching the fiery spark returning to her eyes. The sleek metallic prosthetic that now replaces her left hand moves with surprising fluidity, a testament to its posian craftsmanship and resilience. As she tests the, pre the precision of her new hand by picking up a colorful goblet, a broad smile spreads across her face, a smile of a relief and newfound hope. The group, including Jorik, the boisterous dwarf known for his storytelling, and Myri, a halfling with a love for fireworks, navigates through the bustling festival. They laugh and share stories, drawn inexorably towards the rhythmic boat beat emanating from the dance square. Here, amidst the swirl of dancers, Kaylin feels a surge of confidence. She grasps Thalorin's hand, her new prosthetic gleaming under the starlit sky, and together they join the dance. Their movements are fluid and spirited, a dance of potential and shared moments. Around them, the crowd cheers, with Jork's laughter ringing out and Myri clapping in delight. This is a night of celebration, a night of a night to forget past sorrows and embrace the joy of the present. Later, as they gather around a rooftop table adorned with lanterns, the festive mood continues. The table offers a panoramic view of Moswick, lit by fireworks and lanterns, enhancing the magical atmosphere. They indulge in local delicacies, raising toasts to health and future happiness. This Fortune 10 isn't just another festival for Caitlin. It marks a personal milestone. Here, atop the festive streets of Mosswick, surrounded by friends and potential love, she rediscovers her strength and the joy of moving forward. As she peers over the edge of the rooftop at the other revelers, she catches sight of some familiar folks. Hey, I know them! She laughs and points down at our dear woven fates. <laughs> but you don't hear her. <laughs> As you are being led away by Desdeer to get Iolite a tasty drink. As we rejoin the group, Desdeer leading Eldon away from the rest of you. Um, big smile on his face, and he says, let's go get her a drink. She looks a little like she had an intense conversation. <laughs> and he just puts his arm over your shoulder and walks you towards one of the, one of the stalls. <laughs> <laughs> When we get to the stall, I'll order whatever that, I can't remember the name of it, that blue-black drink, the one that looked like stars. Mm. I don't remember either. Mm. I can't remember. Nope. Damn. <laughs> I, wish, I, I wish I remember the name of it. It's probably somewhere on the Discord still. It's like a blue drink with, obviously, with alcohol, but it had... Oh, yeah. Yep. It's a real drink. Yeah. That you can really make. Yeah, I don't remember it. Oh, the thing with like the charred orange yeah, thing. Yeah, really it looks, it's like pretty... it looks like a galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Order up one of those. Okay. You want to split it? That's dear. It's like jingling the coins. This one's on me. All right. How you doing? You enjoying the festival? It's uh, it's not bad. It's had some fun. You said you were from Eporia, right? They have festivals like that there. Not as colorful, but but yeah. Yeah. I feel like in uh, Cassia, we, we have these, but here is just an extra. It's just a little bit extra. But he says it. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a horror movie where all the sound stops and like, they just look at something. Mm -hmm. You turn around, everybody's staring at you. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, Everyone seems to be having a, a really, really good time. I'm glad. 
I think um, everyone could use this. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I'm looking forward to uh, when we get off the island, though, as much as this has been fun. Um, I did want to say just again, like, sorry about the, the gift. It was... I didn't real, you know, I, I didn't realize, and then I saw your your the the dragon and and uh, kind of put two and two together. So can probably like go back to the person who made it and and just get a new one. I, I heard it's good for like making sure you don't get all bruised up on your on your arm. Glances down. He already has has one. <laughs> I could tell it was finely crafted, and the thought is appreciated either way. How did you know? Well, uh, I like just said you like dragons, uh, so I, and then, you know, I saw your bow, and just put two and two together. Makes just sense. poorly, <laughs> I guess. No offense is taken. Don't worry about it. Good, good. I, I want to make sure all of us, you know, we're going to be traveling together, and I just didn't want to start off on the wrong foot, as they say. You and I like seem like you become really good friends. I like to think so, yeah. That's great. She's, um... I don't know how much she's been able to really share, but... Uh, and I know, I know I'm not saying anything too out of line, but she just didn't didn't have a great experience at, at her at her home. So, from what she's told us about, she's been through a lot. Yeah, yeah. She was really bullied. So it took it took a little bit when we first met at the assembly. Um, we were young. She was really shy and just kind of stayed away from me at first, but think up to this point I was really the only friend that she ever had she was kind of the only friend I ever had too so it's good that she got she's got more friends she's got more people who care about her she is something yeah alright well Drink starts melting in my hand. Mm. Yeah, Let's go get her. Get her. Get her. All the glitter drink. settles at the bottom. He's sitting there. Stop fucking talking. He's <laughs> no. trying to be pleasant. No, be I'm mentally. mentally. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's not going to be on a boat with him for like a month. Yeah. All right. He he does not put his arm back around you. That was to like lead you away. But he's just kind of he grabs himself a, a drink that's got like oranges and pinks into into yellows and. A little umbrella. Start sipping it as you head back to the group. He'll walk over to Isla. <laughs> it, was, it was once beautiful, but <laughs> I just swirl um, it. Just swirl it. I uh, we got this for you. Oh, thanks. She'll kind of like swirl it around, so it. <laughs> because I just imagine it like it was That's so carbonated. Frothy. I know. I just imagine it was so like frothy, kind of looking uh, for some reason. The thing I just imagine it like melting. I don't know why I'm imagining almost like ice cream in a cone. I know, it's not, but <laughs> like the foam. Kind yeah, of I just imagine it's like. Suddenly. I think the bartender is supposed to put the orange in. It's supposed to. I saw other people. Oh, okay. It. She does that. Have a sip. Oh, that's. You want to try? Sure. Okay. It was a good choice. <laughs> totally imagine. I like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you take a sip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet it's it good. <laughs> Even if it's not pretty anymore, I bet it's good. Yeah. It, yeah he's. I'll take a sip. Or Elder will take a sip and be like, <clears throat> "That's uh." Strong. It's strong, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she takes it back and takes another sip. It's good. It's a good one. Yeah. How you doing after that chat with Maury? You looked a little. Uh, it was interesting. I think. I don't know. We could talk more about it later, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a, 
time for fun. Mm -hmm. so. She like cheers him. Cheers. Clink. This is called a Bahama Mama. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sounds exotic. I think Bahama is the name of the guy that served it to me. So Tommy Bahama. Yeah. <laughs> you already know him. We've met. <laughs> <laughs> Sips. Um, the evening continues. Uh, the oh my gosh, event that you put together has completed. So now I Isla is with the group. Um, she comes doing like a little hip booty shake dance thing with a giant coconut in one hand one of those like three foot things of cotton candy in the other hand and her <laughs> tail is holding a bottle of rum <laughs> comes over to her as the tail pours some rum in the coconut um, Fernilli is with the group so it's uh, Des Deer Fernilli um, uh Yuri is there as well, but Zix is off somewhere. Like, ran away to go at bash. The hook. At the hook. Bash them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that girl at the hook. Uh, what is that? It's going to point. Oh. Give this man an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the cotton candy. <laughs> Fucking everybody did all the <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was a big giant spider in here. <laughs> right? We're all uh, uh. It is a um, candy of cotton. Have you not had one before? Uh, no, I've never. It, it is a stick of sugar. She tosses it to you. It's the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you never had cotton candy before? No. Desdere just... reaches over and just grabs some off of it. Like... <laughs> when Eldon eats it, his eyes light up. <laughs> He's never had cotton candy before. It's just pure sugar. It's amazing. Keep it. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't getting it back. <laughs> Eldon's like, this is mine now. <laughs> it's uh, enjoy the celebration. Have have the things that you've not had here since we are not going to be here much longer. I'm not much one for sweets, but I have had it before. Yeah, watch. She's going to take a bit and put it in her drink, and it goes... <laughs> <laughs> huh? It's like <laughs> Mentos and Coke. <laughs> <laughs> this unlocked at level 7 for me. <laughs> this special ability. <laughs> when Desdeer hears um, Kai say he's not one <laughs> one for sweets, Desdeer just like looks over at <laughs> <and> <laughs> <I'm> like... <laughs> He just takes a sip of his drink and tries to make eye contact with Ayla. Like, <laughs> this bitch is sabotaging <laughs> I did not even pick up on that. That's so funny. <laughs> Desi looks back over at Kai and he's like, are you more of like a savory kind of guy? Like meat pies? Not so much like candy? No, not candy. Yes. Things that are... <laughs> <laughs> Things that are a bit You're more with the rich and flavor. <laughs> gotcha. Good to know. That's good to know. Zip, zip, zip. You can never go wrong with bourbon. All right. I agree, by the way. Bourbon. Keeps trying to look at... <laughs> keeps trying to eye contact it with, with eye light. She's going to like... It. <laughs> she's, had, she's drinking it too fast, so she's <laughs> already a little silly. But she like leans over and she's like... He loves dancing, so tap shoes. <laughs> he just shakes his head. <laughs> now I can't believe a word you say. <laughs> hmm. You hear a like shattering of glass, um, probably 15 feet away from you, and you all turn your heads immediately and see a beautiful sight as all of the... Uh, butterflies that had been contained in that glass jar that was about the size of a dome basically that was about the size of a person it the sh glass has shattered you hear the um, the merchant person who was overseeing it goes and we've got a winner and all the Elysium um, Elysium's envy butterflies they just start flying out um, and you see a little kid this like little boy who's just like yeah and the family around 
Um, the glass obviously is not <coughs> like sugar glass or something. It's not gonna like. It's like oh! <laughs> um, so the bur- butterflies just start flying around in the night. Like all of the the lights that are around, like reflecting off, and you can see the butterflies are let go. Um, and the merchant hands the the child like a pair of fairy wings and puts them on his back, and you see. The kid just kind of like lifts off the ground, maybe like four inches at most, like you know, uh, up off the ground, and the wings are fluttering, and everyone's like, ah, <laughs> like a winner, a winner. Just, just uncontrollably like, fly up, like <laughs> like the two people <laughs> kissing at the end of Hook. <laughs> I just start floating away. Uh, oh, that no, that was the guy looking for his marbles. No, 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 no. At, if, at the very end, when oh, he flies oh. off, there's like a couple on oh, one right. bridge, and they like, start zing, they yeah. start floating away. <laughs> Um, and just everybody's clapping and everything, and the little kids like floating, doing little like bounds and floating with with the fairy wings. Like, well, I'm jealous joy. of that. Fernilly looks at you. You you want fairy wings? You can just buy them. You know they they have them for sale. Yes. Uh, I I prefer the real ones. Oh, that's gonna be a little bit harder. Typically, you have to be born with those. At least that's what I hear. She looks at Ali. Like, just. <laughs> She's like, all right. <laughs> um, anything in particular? Any other? Any games you want to do, or you're just kind of going around, viewing, wandering? Okay. Um. As you continue wandering throughout this festival, you do see, um, I'm going to say, Iolite sees first. Um, a familiar face under, you get to an area closer to where old Moswick is. Um, you <coughs> see this group of, of tents. It's like a VIP section. Uh, and you hear a voice that you recognize just like laugh out loud and as you wander by um, underneath one of the tents a couple of bodyguards like set up this is an area where the more affluent people are Um, Valerio Duskridge cheersing uh, clink of glass as you see sitting next to him um, I didn't know how to say this name because I had never heard it before in my life. So I said Cressida. And then all of a sudden it started popping up in my life because there's Cressida. You're supposed to be Cressida. I'm going to keep saying Cressida. But there was Cressida. Sounds fake. Cressida in um, the show that everybody watched that I also watch. Down, no, not Downton Abbey. I watched that too. The other one that's Bridgerton. popular, Bridgerton. There was a Cressida in Bridgerton, and then there was a Cressida in a. There's one in Hunger Games. Oh, I'd never seen the movie. Um, and then there was a Cressida in um, Rusty Quill, uh, one of their Neon Inkwell podcasts. And I'm like, I've never oh, heard this name no, it's before, like and now it's everywhere. See, Cressida sounds like a British butchered version of Cressida. Like, it sounds like it's supposed to be Cressida. I had never and then heard it. Some British friends like, oh, to Cressida. Me, to me, it sounds, like, it sounds like a boat name. It sounds it's like a rich like a person's Cressida. name to me. <laughs> um, but Cressida is there, as well as Valaria. Uh, and and uh, sitting across, as you continue like walking and looking, you see Valor is, is the one that they have cheersed with in the, in the tent, and they're just kind of laughing as they look. She saw that, right, you said? Uh, Eyelight sees first, oh. and then the rest of you, yeah. That bastard. Both of them. All three of them. Fucking bastards. That's what you hear from Catherine. Fucking bastards. It is not surprising that, that they have an arrangement with Valor, I would imagine. Not entirely. No, this island is too small for people like that not to meet together. You see, um, as you're walking by, Valerio looks and sees you all, and then just like cheers, uh, Valor's eyes turn and see you all as well and, and goes like, come on, come on, like makes a gesture for you, mostly looking at Isla, but just like, hey. I'm walking You all just way. ignore. <laughs> it's just, oh no, I'm looking. Oh, okay. My coconut, I'm like. You just keep mm-hmm. going. <laughs> <laughs> 
Valor is a little punt. And as you go, they're like, oh. and then they lean back and continue their, their I do it with like that extra booty thrust as you walk. <laughs> like just that 5% extra in each cheek. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, the others I don't that know are... you looked at me when you <laughs> said it. I'm like, dude, I've never tried to sway my ass to make it look better. I looked at all of you. I'm all, sh- I'm all shoulders, no hips. Now, at break, you need to, you need to work that yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Right. you got to do some practice. Um, <laughs> slip a disc and we'll be laying on the ground for the next session. Um, you're, the group that's with you, again, for Nilly, is just like... Those look like some pretty pretty good people to know. Not really. No? It no. depends on many factors. What did Chris Sita look like? Like, did she... What was her facial expression? I'm um, just wondering, because I feel like her time with us changed her. <laughs> uh, make, a, make an insight check. Um, she is definitely in her... Whatever you assume to be as her like natural form that she en- enjoys being in, the one that you met her in. Uh, Fifteen. Uh, you. I'm gonna make that. That does not do that. Um, you. It's hard to. It's hard to tell. She has a poker face at this point. She has like the smile, and you looking at it can tell that it is a very practiced smile. She barely looked at you all when you when you walked by like she saw you acknowledged that you exist and then went back to the conversation um valaria uh saw you and smiled really big and like didn't wave but like almost wanted to but then just sat there and watched you until you are out of sight her eyes are are on your group We didn't get to know you, kid. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, Fernilly just kind of turns to you all. Um, Yeah, so those those seem to be pretty good folks to know, but you're saying not so much. I would say if circumstances of our introductions were different... Typically, you do not want to do business with someone who drugs you at dinner. Well, yeah, no, that that would be pretty much a deal breaker for me. And thus you come to our understanding. Yeah. The night spent in their underground dungeon didn't smooth things over either. Wow. And they did that knowing that you were the, like, chosen folks of the military, or? It was before. Uh, I do not think it would have mattered at that either way. I've got friends in (laughs) (laughs) As clearly the impenetrable peace is breaking bread with them. But aren't you the impenetrable piece? Now. It's an honorary title. I mean, you could be breaking bread, too. I'm just asking. I mean, Well, we the don't... blue one is the head of the... Yeah, yeah, Valor. Yes. Yeah, I saw him on stage. Yeah. Isla has history with that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's what that look was. <laughs> All right, gotcha. One dinner. One dinner. Stage five clinger. Mm. Well, all right. Seems like, you know, I guess it won't matter once we're off the island, but when um, when she says that, you hear Zix comes over and is like, yeah, I did it. He's got like this metal. Got me some. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he's like, I, 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 bra- I bashed Bruno's bell. Bruno's ball, Bruno's 
I bashed Bruno's balls. <laughs> <laughs> How drunk is Zix? <laughs> <laughs> You're, he's, he always has this big smile on his face. He's like, yeah. You see some people are like laughing. A couple people like um, patting him on the back. Uh, Yuri comes over and is like, great job. Great job. How many times? He's like, I smashed him and I smashed him and I just kept smashing him. And I smashed it like 17 times. And he's like talking, whatever. Is this the test of strength? Yeah, it's the bell that you, like, bash and it has to go up. He'd never seen his ball smashed so much. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not saying it. Other people are saying it. (laughs) Um, Kai, roll a a perception check. Five. Five. (laughs) As this is happening... There's a lot of movement. Obviously, people are moving around. You, um, out of the corner of your eye, you see a shadow that's like off. Um, You get that sense of that feeling that we all have, that sixth sense of like being watched. And as your eyes kind of scan the area, you see a shadowed figure just barely catch a glimpse of the the, the edge of this person who clearly was looking at you and then shifts off into behind somewhere. Dusk wing duck. <laughs> Kyle make mental note he won't ruin everyone's good time yet. Okay. <laughs> yet? Yeah, yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, what else do you see here? Really, the the evening is more games, more f- more food, and unless what, are, what oh, are the games are there? There are lots of them. If you want strength, if you want to do uh, go break the balls. I was say, like, <laughs> like, I'm imagining like uh, when you go to the fair, they have the balloons and you throw the darts at them. <laughs> Actually, there is a game of darts that I just had up in front of me just oh. now, called Goblin's Eye. Um, you, uh, this one, you, you can play for money if you want, or you can just play for fun. You take turns rolling a d20 and a d6, both at once, three times. The 20 determines what number you hit, and the 6 determines where it hits for, like, a 1, a 3, or a 6, um, for example, as being the outer, and then it goes down into the, into the middle. And the first player that that gets to 301 points wins. Does anybody want to play? I'll play. Let's do it. All right. Um, we'll say... Like everyone's like, I guess we'll fucking play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say no to a little game. Give uh, me a game. It's money, right? Yeah, you can put some put some money in it. Why not? Grab a bag of money. <laughs> How much Somebody. you putting in? I thought we were playing for fun. Oh, now Alden's nervous. Not on this island, baby. <laughs> Zix is going to join you. He like, slams his hands down on the table. And he's like, let's go. Gets the dart. I don't know what this is going <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I mean, you basically you put it all in the pot. So how much are you putting in the pot? Oh. oh. Start with one gold. Okay. Well, it's a it's a it's a big game. Like it, you have to get to three hundred and one points. So you're probably only going to do this once. So you just play for one gold. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was like in rounds or something. Right. Five gold. Yeah, <laughs> five. We'll go five. Five, three, four. All right, five. Zix is gonna match you. All right. So this is 30 gold. Uh, if if Kethra joins, it's 35. All right, everybody roll a d20 and a d6. Um, do we have to keep track of things? I forget what we do. Yeah, I don't remember what we did. I'm like, do we multiply this? So, tell me we multiplied it. So <laughs> first, um, tell me what you rolled in your d20. Five. Okay, a five. Um, so you got five points. Uh, and then what did you roll in your d6? Six. A six. So that is 50 points. So you got 55. 
55 points right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because you get a bullseye. So oh, the six is the, the bullseye. The six is, a, is the inner oh. bullseyes, and you had fi- you hit five for the five points. Mm-hmm. Um, so Iolite's like dart goes poof, right in the center, but just where the five was. Is this all on one big board? Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. What did I like get? What did everybody uh, pick 18. for a color for their darts? <laughs> Ooh. Well, I just we got it. We have to. One. Yeah. Blue. Uh, 18 okay. and then two. Uh, 18 and a two. So you got double the points. So 18 times two is 36. So you got 36 points. What about Eldon? 12 and six. All right. So you got a 12 and then a six bullseye. So we're going to say you got 62 points. <gasps> Because you had 12 points and he doesn't it was a bullseye. Smiles at Isla when she got a bullseye, and then he was like, <laughs> fucking next to it. Yeah. You did 62? Yeah. A uh, four on the d20 okay. and a five. Um, a five is a triple, so you got 12 points. A 16 and a one. 16 and a one. Uh, one is the outer ring, so double the points. So you got. You hit the 32. hand of the guy running the game. <laughs> 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 you win! 32 points. He just hands you the stuffed animal. He's like, fuck it. And then. Zix Roll for intimidation. Got a, a 13 and a, a four. So that's a triple. So 13 times three Look is 36. Dice. Yeah, the Japanese. Those are cool. Kanji dice. Um, so Zix got 36 points. All right. I will say if you want to add to the pot, that's fine. For this round, do you want to keep going? Five more gold. Five, five more gold. Five more? All right. Elden's only going to throw in two. Isla's drinking rum. Fair point. <laughs> I'm going to put money away. That's all my points. <laughs> this is all I have. <laughs> and I polished off the drink, too. All right. We're going to say that the pot is at um, did, 70. Did it have that good whipped cream at the bottom? Oh, yeah. every, all the little crunchy sugar bits <laughs> down at the bottom. That drink looked really good, right? It did. Yeah. Like I was like, but it does look like a drink that you have to chew on though. Yeah. It has like, got so, some sugar it, like, had so much sugar around the edge, you have to like chew through that to get mm-hmm. to the drink itself. I love those kinds of drinks. Um, all right, roll d twenty and a d six. Oh. I should probably only be giving you fifty points for the bullseye, but this is whatever. Um, what did you get? I got a fifteen and a five. A fifteen nice. and a five. So uh, fifteen is. A uh, a five is a triple, so you got uh, forty-five points for that. Four and a four. A four and a four. Four is still a triple, so you get twelve. Uh, Sixteen points. Four. Twelve points. <laughs> twelve points. Twelve. <laughs> uh, Thirteen and three. Thirteen and three. A three is still a triple, so that's thirty-six points. I got a twelve and a six. Nice. Ooh, so that's 62 wrong. points we'll give you. Got a 13 and a 1 again. 13 oh. and a 1. That's 26 just, points. I love the idea that the guy you're just aiming for that guy's hand on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck the, the game, other one fuck now. the gold. I will get his. I just want to hit this guy. <laughs> and at some point, someone's going to be like, are you aiming for the board? I'm supposed to There's aim for the board? board. <laughs> There's a board? <laughs> Zix is like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he rolled a 20. Oh, oh damn. Oh, damn. And a 6. Whoa. Oh. So okay. he got uh, 80, uh, no, sorry. Wow. 70 points on that one. Are we supposed to, you say we're supposed to get to 300? 30, 301, yeah. <clears throat> so he's like got 106 yeah. points at now, this point. Is it like Holy traditional shit. darts where we have to hit 301 on the dot, or is it just <laughs> over 301? Uh, over. Okay. Over 301 to make it easy. <laughs> um, and he's like, yeah, he gets in like somebody's face. Whoever's close to him, like Vermillion, <laughs> she just stands, she doesn't even back up, she's just like looking at him. Like, yeah! All right, let's keep going, let's go! <laughs> Not even looking. Just... <laughs> one, 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 one. Oh, six and a four. All right, a six is a six, <laughs> a and oh, a four is triple, I you so said another one. 18 points. Uh, yeah, 18. Just roll, I don't know better. why I'm... I was going to say role play as you're hitting them. 20 and a 2. 20 and a 2. So 20 is doubled, uh, or the 2 is doubled, so you got 40 points for that one. Nice. That's math I can do. <laughs> <laughs> another 12, another 6. All right, and that's 62 points. Uh, 18 and 3. Um, uh, three is tripled, so 30, what is that? Uh, no. Swap out that D6. Three, 
Give me something D above a two. Fifty-five. Four. It's three times eight. It's twenty-four. Yeah, My brain's. Yeah, I'm, I'm staring like I'm doing 50. math. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stare. Fifty-four. And just pretend to do it. Yeah. And someone answers first. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah, what I figured yeah, out. Yeah, first. I do that all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I got a five and a two. Five and a two. Not one. <laughs> yep, so five Plus and then the a two is yeah. doubled, so ten points. He just nice. she pinned his sleeve to the, <laughs> to the wall. Six, yes. uh, a 16 and a 4, so 16 tripled. Nowhere near that. Um, which is 18. 48. I don't need to so do that. Okay. Six, eight, Are we throwing eight, any more money in? Zix is going to put 10 gold in. No, I already put in all my fake money. Okay. Matching. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The pot is 90. He's like, it's not fair, you all. You're supposed to match it. Fernelli's like, chill the fuck out, man. <laughs> um, all right. Roll again. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> 13 and 2. 13 and 2 doubled, so 26 points for Iolite. 2 and 2. Four points <laughs> for Isla. God damn it. Seven and three. Uh, so what, 21 points for Eldon? Uh, 15 and one. Uh, 30 points for Kai? Four and one. <laughs> <laughs> the dice are they, they're doing you dirty They're today. just literally double birdie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's eight points. <laughs> I'm just going to role play it as I had no <laughs> idea I was supposed to hit the board. You just I thought I was supposed to aim for him. <laughs> you can dominate like a, the good game. Yeah. Uh, he's he's going to look like a porcupine. <laughs> God, yeah. I'm just going to be like, I was supposed to hit the board. He said, I wish someone told me that. You did come in late to the game. Exactly. So yeah. that you makes sense. The instructions. It was my bathroom break. Yeah. <laughs> it was my bathroom break, and I didn't know I wasn't supposed to aim for the dude. Telling the guy, stop moving. <laughs> just comes back from the loo. Why Zix is he is, moving? Zix has been, he's just been throwing them. Like, he's just, and he got a two and a five. So he got triple points for, or double points for it. Triple points for only six points. Um, all right. He's like, yeah, all right. It was great. I'm going to try a different set of dice. Actually, we're going to go these guys. What'd you get? Uh, nine and a six. Uh, 59 points. <laughs> Eight and a that four. That is what? How many around Eight and a four. Eight What's tripled. So that's 24. How many has it been tonight? Yeah, 24 I points. I ain't making it at 300. <laughs> nine and a three. Nine and a three, nine tripled. 27, right? Uh, 18 and three. Tripled. Nice. Another, was that another 54? 54. 54? Oh, one on the D20 and a four. Uh, Catherine's going back to the loo. <laughs> okay, Catherine's <laughs> at it. I'm going to go pee some more. Yeah, I'm gonna Just go find drops a bush. the darts. I'm gonna Fuck this somebody. shit. Um, I'll find a bush. Zix got a 19 and a 5, so 19 uh, triple. So that's 57. What's everyone up to? Oh, not high. 208. 203. 212. 217, Zix is. He's like, he's got his like 160. Bruno Bruno Bashan thing up. All right. It, no. All your takes is Another 20. 20 and a 6. Oh, my God. 6 is going to win. Keep track. I'm right back in it. So, shit. 12 and 2. 12 and 2. 24 points. 13 and 1. Tw uh, 26 points. Ooh. 4 and 4. Tripled. 60 points. Mm -hmm. 4 and 4. Tripled. 12 points. 6 and a 3. <laughs> Tripled. 18 points. Zix got a 20. Damn. And a two. Damn. He's going to win. So he doubled that, so it was 40. She, he's at 257. Ooh. He's kissing his bicep. <laughs> 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 and he throws again. That's, that's not great. 16 and four. Tripled 16. So what's that? 60 minus 12. 48. Is that right? Mm. I think so. <laughs> Five and three. Uh, that is tripled. Fifteen points. Eight and five. That is tripled. Twenty-seven. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. 
17 and 2. Doubled. 34. 3 and 6. Uh, bullseye. 53 mm. points. Hey! Nice. All right. The bullseye hit. Here goes, damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Zix is like, that's good! He like grabs your shoulder and he's shaking you. Uh, ah. She's like, what did he mean? He only got 15 points this time, so he's at 272. All right. We're getting close. Oh no, not this though. hear him go like, no! Nah! <laughs> oh, as you see his dart hits a, a one uh, and a one. Oh, no. So he only got two points this round. <gasps> no. You two. Yep, you got ones. snake eyes. You got him in the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> right, you planted it. You killed the guy. <laughs> yes! Is that what I'm supposed to do? Yes. Why isn't anybody killed? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen. Sixteen and five. Tripled 16, so that's again 20, 20, 20, minus 12, 48. 19 and 4. Tripled 57. 6 and 1. 12 points. <laughs> 1 and 1. 1 and 1. <laughs> 2 points. Oh, yeah. 349 points. These two are going in jail. Okay. You're at 349? Nope. Oh, oh, all right. I was going to say, someone's got to be close. If that's right. I was at 292 the last one, so I was like, oh, I'm, okay. I, was really so, hoping, yeah. I was really hoping that Zix would, like, not get, roll high. Yeah, 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 get it too, yeah. as he did. So you see um, Zix is going to be the one. He's like, yeah, yeah. Eldon? Was it Eldon? He's going to look at Woo! And then just fucking send it. He comes over. He's like, right, that's how you do it. Um... And he gathers up all the money, which is it 90 runs. gold. <laughs> he just takes off. <laughs> Zix is he gone. He goes to look. He's like, ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. That's kidding, bro. And then he hands you, you got 90 gold in your pocket nice. from this one. Big spender. <laughs> Kai, roll me another perception check. That's better. 15 and 5. As everybody's laughing and Zix is like joshing you, um, you look beyond the this booth that you're in, and you can see this like shadowed figure that's just staring in your direction. You can't really make out anything. Like every time you go and like look at them, they they pull away. Um, definitely a humanoid figure. It's not even that you can't. It's not that they are shadow. It's more that just they're lingering back. And so when you finally do look over in their direction, they're, they're pulling out of the, your, your vision. Did anyone just see that over there? Yes, it was impressive. I did not expect you to win. See what? <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. You gotta, you gotta bless them. That one was having such a streak. You gotta bless them. That was your that was your first mistake, Isla. You gotta bless them every single time. I was watching. This one right here, you were doing good. You were redo, you were learning. You're doing really good. But okay. Isla's a pro, so sh you should know better. You gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta thank your muscles for working in your favor. I do every day. She does a hip wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> a lifetime of. Slinging arrows doesn't hurt. <laughs> Don't feel bad. See what, Kai? I'm assuming that's not what you were referring to. <laughs> I guess it's nothing. I oh, thought I saw see? someone. What did you hmm. see? Someone in the shadows. But Where? Must just be my mind playing tricks on me. I mean, we are so above like ground, not so. Your mind playing tricks on you, so where? That way. Tell me if you see him again. Do I see anything? If I look over there. No. I mean, there's just so many people, and for a second you think you see a shadow, but then it's just a person who comes out and is like <laughs> drinking. <laughs> Woo! Oh no! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> um. Any other games or anything? What else is there? Folks want to do? We got blackjack. 
Or what other games do I have? Is it nighttime now? Yes, it is nighttime. Um, it's still very bright, bright here. It is, um, let me see if I have a description of it. Um, still very uh, gold and teal, all of those colors. The area that you'd walked by where you saw the uh, valor and whatnot, you also saw that the, the mayor was in that like general area, not sitting with those particular folks, but and she looks like she's having a grand old time. As you are walking around, you can see that uh, Rib Kim is making the round, the rounds and trying to discuss the potential um, for a new election with folks as much as people are willing to listen, so. Where's Spritz? <laughs> Spritz, make a perception check. Ab above the table, do if we knew that it was an assassin that was after you or something from the last time you saw. I can't remember if. Well, remember in the alley the by the Blood thing. Rock? Right, but according to the Maven, it wasn't an assassin. Somebody trying to. Find you. That was. Uh, yeah. Kidnapper. Yeah, that's more. Hmm. 16. So, okay. You see well, that? But we knew that it happened, right? Yes. I can't remember if it was something that happened out of sight, and then we. Oh no, Kai walked away out of sight, but then all of a sudden everyone went. Yeah. Whereas Kai, and you and filled then, us in, and then there was stuff happened. There was an explosion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You all saw that. Yeah, at the time. Um, Spritz has his, has his own um, tent. Spritz is Spritz. spritz <laughs> Walk up and get Spritz. Spritz is Spritzers. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see he's got his little spritz. It's not the same thing, but he's making um, carbonated drinks for people that are flavored. He doesn't really talk. As people come over, they're like, I want a strawberry. And he's like, <laughs> hands it. And you can request getting spritzed in the face if you want, because it is Just, warm. I'm picturing the bamboo, like things to hold the tent up actually have like holes so when people walk by he just like <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna say they're shaped like spray bottles <laughs> he's got all different kinds of flavors there's there's pineapple there's um strawberries that have been imported from elsewhere there's all just different flavors that he's got and he's making spritz Isla goes gets a mango spritz and then a cooling down spritz okay <laughs> gladly it's one of those Every time when whenever somebody gets spritzed, you see that he just has like a little, a little smile and a nod. Oh, <laughs> yuck! <laughs> He's done good today. He's got that like sitcom dad, just like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then I put some rum in my <laughs> spritz because I still have that bottle. Um, you see, there is a. Uh, a game called cheat where you have to try to bluff um, there's arm wrestling um, nope you already did Pappy Polly's potion poultice potion pouring pop up pagoda uh, the what's that smell splash attack splat attack punch drunk there's I have Go a high ahead. deception. Was, I'll do a cheat. What was punch drunk? Oh, that was the one where you just punch each other in the face, right? You drink and you punch <laughs> each other in the face. Yeah. <laughs> the two dwarves are still uh, there that, four that, hours that, later. That game just seems so dwarven. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's cup shuffle, too, where you have to try to guess wh which thing the a bead is under, which cup a bead is under. Is that a perception? Uh, in it New is. York City, I know, I know that grift. <laughs> <laughs> No. What's the cheat one? That's using deception, right? Cheat is, um, let's see, cheat is, it's an intermediate game of bluffing. So you put an, a, an ante into the pot, you start with 5d6 and a cup. I'll catch up. I'll, I'll try to kill somebody like that next time. <laughs> uh, you put 5d6 in a cup and you have to roll in secret. Um, after looking at the numbers that you roll, you offer an opening bid, kind of like poker. Uh, you So if you have two twos under your cup, you could start there, or you could predict with some certainty that there are a total of three twos. So you're trying to, you're trying to guess how many of a certain type of dice the whole table has. Um, so it says uh, you can you can 
with certainty assume because you have two twos under your cup that there are at least three twos at the table under other every other people's cups um, next player then bids at either a higher total of the amount of dice so they say four twos or keep the same amount but move to a higher number so you say three threes so you either can say like you said two twos okay the next person says um, three twos or two threes and you keep it that way um, bluffing as needed so you can pretend if you think that someone is bluffing you call them out um, and then everybody has to lift up and whoever was the person who was true gets to stick around too complicated for my taste yeah, I was thank gonna you, say, I see you <laughs> I'm losing you as, as I go oh you lost me like um, four cups ago mm -hmm. Um, let's see, oh or secret shaker, Dude, which is kind of similar, that one. where everyone rolls all six of your dice, the higher the number, the better. Each player gets a chance to re-roll, but you don't have to. And, um, each round, all players take one die that they rolled and move it to the middle of the table with their hand covering it. And then all the players reveal, uh, the highest number wins the round. A tie is one by the smaller sided die. I mean, that one's yeah. easy. It's just roll, roll higher than everyone else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was that? Roll how many? What? You roll all of your dice. All and then All seven? Well, all six. Uh, don't do your percentile. And then you um, choose the highest number and then reveal to everybody and whoever has the highest number of oh, all the yeah. dice would be the winner. I get it. <laughs> yeah, we should play okay. that. <laughs> all right, Fernilli is going to try it. She's like, I'm real good at this one. I know it's a lot to of roll all the dice. Yeah, it's set. All six, and you do it in secret. But first, you got to wager. Oh, what are you wagering? Five gold. Five gold? Yeah. Five gold. All right, let's, let's put it in the pot. We got five gold. Um, for Nilly is joining in this time. She's like, I know I'm going to lose my lose my gold, but 35 gold. So how this works is you're going to roll six of your dice, not your percentile, D10. So roll all of them at once. Which roll all the dice. One whole set. One whole set. Percentile. You're going to keep it secret. So not the 10. Or not, not the percentile. Not the so yeah. the 10, but not the percentile. Uh, the goal is to roll all the dice, and then you choose the so highest we'll number. Five, six. What's the one I'm missing? A D four. Twenty. Six. 12. Oh, I need a twelve. Eight, ten, twelve. Um, you want to get you take your highest number, you keep it a secret from everybody, and then everybody reveals the highest number all at once. So one die. All right. So whichever it is is the one that you Yeah, you want to you want to go with your highest number. Okay. All right. Everybody got it? Okay. Reveal 15. No. 10, 13, 8, 7. And fuck what one I put it was it was a 20. <laughs> I was, you like, trying to, 20? like, grab it. Yeah, I got a nat 20. Oh. You win second. again. Damn. It was my Damn. second nat 20 of the... I had one when we were rolling for the... Whatchamacallit. All right. Uh -huh. Fernilli's like, wow, this guy's got some good How luck. Then? Wait till we come up with something that matters. <laughs> and, and it'll be... I don't know. I'll be looking out of the butterflies of... You always speak of... Uh, not being financially sound. Tonight is your night. Yeah, you got another 35 golds. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> or 30 gold because you pitched okay. in. Um, I'll go again. Yeah. Well, what's a little gold between friends, right? All right. So we got to roll them all over. And this is still just whatever the highest is? Yep, whatever the highest is, that's your highest number. All right. Reveal. 
Seven again. Ten. Sixteen. Thirteen. Eleven. Twelve. I've won again. You won again! Oh my god! Yeah. That was another 30 day. He's gonna finance Slash this. I'm gonna yeah. die at the end of this session. <laughs> <laughs> Something's gonna You're kill You're gonna me. die rich, though. <laughs> yes. Right up until you guys all strip the golds from my body. <laughs> another 30? Another, another 30, one? yeah. Alright. You wanna go one more time? One more. I'm gonna do my uh, one I guess I'll give you guys time. a chance to win back your money. Yeah, I'm gonna do my, my, uh, one at my time. kanji dice this time. Let's see. Well, that's not fair. We won't know. <laughs> <what you're doing. laughs> uh, none of us read Japanese. <laughs> You'll learn it by the end. Oh, my I, God. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna have Pat look at it now. Yeah. Twenty again. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> well, fuck! <laughs> like I was. Well, fuck! <laughs> Did you already roll? Make sure this. You guys, no. What happens if you get oh, two twenty? I got an eleven. Twelve. Whoops. Like I wasn't even gonna try to like I, cover. Oh, like 13. I thought I was doing good with a fifteen. Finally's like, I see why you keep him around. That's uh, that's some Mr. good luck. Um, he is not normally this. He's not. I'm literally at like double digit ones this day. Oh my gosh! Get him out now. That's my th that's my third nat twenty in like twenty minutes. Well, I'm glad so. you're getting the twenties. I'll keep the yeah. ones over here. Maybe you can switch Crazy. next week. You want to take a couple ones for me next week? Sure. <laughs> okay, cool. Because I literally think it's been ten ones. That was another 30, you said? In a row. Another 30. All right. Don't rub it in our faces, man. Elton, what are you going to do with these, all this I money? don't know if these uh, biceps will pick up all that gold high <laughs> enough to rub in your face. Zix is, wasn't paying attention. He's, like, looking <laughs> off somewhere. Oh, like, now yeah, just, good job, good job. Now he just looks like an asshole. <laughs> I didn't even see that one. In that, in that roll, I rolled... Five ones. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! Yeah. That should be a prize. But I, I, thought I, yeah. rolled, I, I thought I only rolled four, but the this one was like hiding in the corner. <laughs> where I couldn't see it, and when I picked it up, so I was you guys like, are getting oh, all no. your like bad rolls out of the way, where I'm just taking all my future good karma <laughs> and just it's gonna come for you frivolously. <laughs> and when it ends, it'll end spectacularly. Yep. <laughs> Kai, you see again. A little closer this time, but still often in shadow, um, that same figure. You you get a little bit of, I'll say, do another perception check. We'll see what you glean from this. All right, um. Yeah, <laughs> come on. Do you want me to roll for it, though? I know, really. You <laughs> might want to, actually. Th this this will be when your, your ones start coming. He's the only one on this side. Okay, okay that's rolling anything much good. better. Um, that is better. 17. Okay. Oh, that's good. You see, right. you catch a glimpse, pale skin, um, a divinian. dark hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We're vampire. We're both feminine, mm. and like what stands out to you is there's like too much color, even though it shifts away. Like the moment you you look over, it's gone. Like moves out of your vision. Um, there's a, there's bright color that clashes against what you typically uh, experience when you meet fellow Devenians, but this person just dashes out of out of you. Probably 20 so or so feet away, but is always behind other folks, like making sure that they're behind things. One second. Pull up my thing. What is using, it? Uh, my little bonus because I'm, I'm getting low. I'd be able to attempt to track them through their smell. Um, yes. How does it work? I just I get a, a bonus to oh, okay. my survival. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, you've seen them several times at this point, so yeah. You catch. That's only an eleven. Okay. You catch a like as you're honing in and you take a, a a deep breath and focusing in that direction. You catch a a scent that's very familiar to you, but feel familiar in a nostalgic old way. It. It's like a memory is right on the cusp of your 
brain edges of your brain but it, it won't come forward but it's associated with that this is you're familiar with this smell but then it's gone some someone's watching me watching you they keep they keep popping up but anytime I try and look at them they vanish do we want to make our way in that direction chances are they're not chances are they're not gonna still be there but everyone keep your eyes open you see anything strange what do they look like it's hard to tell pale skin feminine but they're keeping to the shadows dark hair Hmm. very well (coughs) Fernilli um, just chimes in is there anything we should be like prepared to do do you want us to kind of split up and see like if we can you know maybe flank them don't make a move, but keep an eye out. Alright. She's like, Yuri, Zix, why don't we why don't we go this way? Desi, you can stay or and he's like, I, I think I'm gonna stay. I'll stay with this group. She's like, alright. We'll 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 come around. See if you can spot him. Yeah. We'll just keep an eye out, see if anybody's looking over, paying a lot of <coughs> attention, you know. We'll see you in a few. She heads off with Zix and Yuri. You, come with me. And I, I, it's it's not a question. I, I just walk in a certain direction, and I grab your arm with my tail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would like to go to, like, one of the artisan tents. Mm-hmm. With all your winnings. Perhaps you could... Uh, I know uh, the way you look at Eyelight, so I have a proposition for you. I bring you to this tent that, like, is one of those, like, artists that just, they can make a craft out of, like, anything. Um, So, like, I point out that the, um, they have, like, various, like, little bins of, like, stones and rocks and stuff like that, and, um... I pick up, like, a brooch, combining one of these stones into a brooch here would surely make I, like, quite happy. Thank you. Um, what do you think her favorite would be? I guess, what do they have for stones? He'd be looking at, um, blue ones that would as closely match her eye color as I guess you could. Which is a stone could. Alright. Well. I knew I should have brushed up on my geology. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know Ooh. my stones. It's just... Damn, okay. Ready. She came ready. I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you open? Uh, um, so we've, yeah. got, <laughs> we've got Amethyst and Aquamarine... The emeralds are the green, and uh, Iolite is can, purple. Her eyes, are, her eyes are blue. Yeah. <laughs> there is Iolite here, which is the purple stones that come in all these variety of colors. Um, all of the sapphires. You can never go wrong with a sapphire. Uh, sapphire stars. Actually, he'll pick the purple, one of the purple Iolites. One of the darker yeah. purple Iolites? Um, the mid-range. Yeah. yeah, probably uh, whatever this one is here. Or wonderful, one. wonderful selection. Yes, very, very good. Of course. Yes, we have ten days or so before we set sail. I'm sure this c- can be crafted before we go. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yeah. just come by m- my shop during the week. Yes. And they do magnificent work. Um, Indeed. Ruby's revelries. Let's <laughs> come up with that off the top of your head. <laughs> yes. You can use almost anything. 
I haven't met a thing I couldn't work with my hands yet. Shop did you bring me to? <laughs> <laughs> the best. Um, <laughs> he's going to reach into his bag and he's going to just do a little rummaging around and there's like a little cloth type thing and he's going to hand it over to him. Like gently slide it over. Okay. She opens, unwraps it. It's a blue flower. A what? A blue flower. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Specifically the flower that... Eldon is from Loud Bellarill's one way back when he kept it in his little book. Uh, Eldon gave it to Isla, unknowing of the local customs, and then she gave it back to him. Right, right, right. So. You want this incorporated into the brooch? Somehow, if you can. You've got it. Uh, and you are one of, I see, the woven fates. I will, I will be able to give you a good price for this custom... She winks at Isla. <laughs> Just make sure you uh, <laughs> let everyone know where you got your custom jewelry made. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Not picking up on any of the content. <laughs> okay. Yes. Thank you. That was very thoughtful of you to point me in this direction. I'm thoughtful from time to time. And I can sense the apprehension of our uh, newest traveling companions that you have, so. Yeah, for a few reasons, but... I'll be honest, I have no idea what way she is going to go with (laughs) any of this, but I suppose for one night I could give you a boost. That's sweet of you. Thank you. (laughs) He's going to, like, knock on the bottle. Because I'm, I'm assuming you still have it, like, just dangling around. Oh, uh, she's holding it in her hand. Oh, he'll reach over point. and it'll be like, dong, dong. It's like, empty. let's go get you another bottle of that. It's on me. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to have Kai, Kethra, and Iolai make perception checks as you're kind of paying attention to your surroundings at this point. Cocked. Oof. Seven. Fifteen. Fifteen. Ten. Ten. Remember that little meme that I sent? If you saw it, it was like, don't put the dice in jail. Sometimes they just need, like, affirmations. They need to be, like, <laughs> talked in to, prom. encouraged. These three have been little bastards oh, ever well, since beat they started. Beat them. They're all three in jail. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. You're not coming out, guys. Sorry. <laughs> um, Kai, you kind of make eye contact uh, with, you see... You don't see the figure, but you see um, Fernilli, who's across a, a ways away, maybe 30, 40 feet from you. Um, and she makes eye contact, and then she like just kind of tilts her head, um, pointing off to the right. And as you follow her, her eyes, you can see that there's like this dark, the, the figure, this person, um, underneath like one of the 10 awnings. Um, and as you look at them, you know, they, they see that you're looking and, like, shift off um, to go move. And, and Fernilli, like, looks at you, like, like you want us yeah. to keep following? Give the nod, and Kyle let Catherine and ILA know and start heading in that direction. Beelining. All right. Um, make investigation checks, or you could do, um, I could say you, you could do survival for for this because you're tracking differently. Eleven. Fourteen. Uh, uh, investigation. Yeah, investigation Thank for you. two of you. Seventeen. Nice. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. All right. She grows like a bear snout old. Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just following Kai's lead, you can see um, you get a, a, a bead on the, the figure. Uh, you notice that the figure like notices that you all see them and then starts like darting a little bit, going faster. Um, but you see their movements and almost can, w- having that connection with the animals and whatnot, it's like you go into predator mode in terms of like which way would an animal move when they're feeling like they're being chased. Um, 
the other group are a little bit further back from you, your your pals, Fernilli and Yuri and, and Zix. Um, oh, trying to weave. We're all pals now. <laughs> <laughs> trying to weave through. Desi is following behind you, uh, just quietly, but taking in your cues as you move. Uh, shifting through, kind of pushing past people, you see this figure darts into a um, uh, an alley. You're not in an area where darting into an alley means no one will see you. You're just like, people are paying attention. They're walking around. They're probably not looking at you, but you're not in a space where like, uh, no one would see somebody going in and, and be like, oh, didn't even see that person at all. Like you're on the edge. And as you kind of turn the corner, are you following into the alley? As a group. Kai yeah. is. Okay, so you. It's the last time that happened. <laughs> you. <laughs> Me and you are like. <laughs> Look at the shiny rocks. Shiny. Look at the bear in front of you. That's good. Okay. You uh, turn the corner and you see that this particular alley um, is actually one that ends. There's like a bunch of there's stacked things, probably a bunch of streamers and and decorations for the festival. Um, the figure turns around, looks at you all. You see, um, the first thing that you see is like a shiny knife. It's a long blade, probably like 10 inches long. Um, very, very, it, like the, the light is just like reflecting off of this thing um, and a shaky hand holding it. You, Kai, see a woman um, she turns around to look at all of you and her, her hand is shaking. Um, probably in her 50s-ish. Her hair is pulled back into a tight bun, but there's like little purple flowers all around the edge, like someone trying their best to fit in to the space. Um, She's wearing that splash of color. She's got this like beautiful summery dress on that is clearly from Yamari. It's all these local flowers that have been embroidered into it. I was but the, like a ninja this whole time, and she like beautiful flower dress. But pale skin, dark hair, and the thing that that puts it together for you as you're kind of taking in this person who's staring at you wide eyed. Um, is the shoes. They just don't fit with the rest of her getup, but you recognize the shoes. They're dark with buckles. And the memory that you recall, just as you see them a little bit dusty from all of the sand and everything um, from the festival, is when you and Mallory and Klaus were hiding under the bed and the shoes as Miss Madame Lowry the babysitter that you never saw again after that one night when she cursed you and your sister and your sister looked at you like I'm taking this bitch down and she's staring at you, and she has the knife, and she just swings it. You're nowhere close to her, but she just says, Stay back, you monster. I recognize you. I know you. You monster cursed. And she's swinging this knife. Madam Lowry. And that's where we're going to take a break. <laughs> ah! With the shoes, I definitely was imagining, like, a... Uh... Was it Nana from Muppet Babies? Yeah. <laughs> Where you only uh, see the right. shoes. But, but, but you uh, only just, see mm -hmm. those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happened with her again? I forgot. Uh, they were all...
one last one. Oh. No, nothing. So as you stand in the uh, beginnings of a fairly lit alleyway that ends in a dead end with um, the supplies or fireworks or who knows at the end kind of cutting it off. Standing in front of you is a Devenian woman, 60s, 50s, um, wielding a knife and swinging it in front of her to keep you away, the three of you actually, um, Kai, Kethra, and Iolite, as Isla and Eldon had gone off to do their own errand. And she, Madame Lowry, a former babysitter of the Morning Star children, nanny, if that's probably a better word, <laughs> uh, who is threatening and, uh, well, screaming at you to stay away from her. And she stops, her hand shaking. That's, it's all right. No one's going to hurt you. I do not trust you. I do not trust you. You are a monster. Your charms will not work on me, vampire. She's like, <laughs> holding the knife, shaking. I am not a vampire. Lies! I am out in the daylight. I walk into any residence I want. I am not a vampire. I have seen you. Not only that, but they said you were dead. And here you are. You are not dead. You are alive. You are a walking monster. Stay away from me! Easy. I won't get any closer. You better not. This is a silver knife. It'll cut you in two. We'll, we'll double back on that after. <laughs> But what are you doing here? That's none of your business, monster. You're following me, trying to take take revenge on me, trying to finish what you started. What you do your you family. mean? Start what? You tried to ruin me, the Morning Stars. I came and I escaped. They're saying you're dead, you know. But you're not. You're right here. And I'm going to turn you in. I'm going to tell everyone here that you are, you are the prince, you are the prince. She starts yelling and is like, you are the prince. Think about what you are doing. If my family has said I am dead and you prove them wrong, what do you think will happen to you? It can't be worse than what you're planning to do. I will not turn, monster. Do not try to fight me. I will stab you with this and all of your, your friends that are with you. And as you're talking, Desi, who has followed you and is with you all, is just looks, looks at you, Iolite, very confused, and is looking at Kai, looks at... He's just taking all of this in. No one will harm you. You have my word. Your yeah. word means nothing to me. Yeah. Monster. Yeah. Undead. Catherine's gonna say to I, like, speak for yourself, Kai. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were following me. That is why we followed you here. Someone has already attempted to take me. I thought it was you. But I see it, it was not now that I'm up close. Just calm down and talk with me. Don't try your vampire charms on me. They will not work. I will go and I will turn you in. Step out of my way. I am going to the mayor and I will tell her. I will tell her who you are and that you have come here to, to turn others into vampires. I want you to stop and think about what you are saying. Just earlier today, the mayor was honoring myself as well as my compatriots here. You start shouting strange, unprovable things, especially saying that a royal who is dead is at their feet. You know what will happen to you. You will try to silence me. That is what will happen. They will know. 
They will look, and and I'm sure there are others out here who who have seen your face. But I will tell them, and they will they Do will you confine see you. This, and he'll take out the badge. We are honored guests here. We saved the island. If I wanted to do all that you said, why would I bother saving the island? I do not know why monsters do what they do, but I know you are one, and I will make sure everyone knows. You can make a persuasion check, but it's a real high DC for her. No, that's a nine. <laughs> she's, she's like swinging. Um, she looks at you, Kethra, behind, um, kind of taking in your physique, everything about you. you give off the air of a Devenian. Looks at Iolite. You do not. Um, <laughs> so she, she, you can see her getting more nervous as she kind of puts the two of you together um, as being from where she is. She can. Desi seems to almost try to be like hide himself in the back a little bit, <laughs> like he's. He keeps looking around to see if anybody's paying attention to what's going on over here in the, in the corner. And she's like, get out of my way. Get out of my way. I am going to the mayor, and I will tell everyone here who you are. Prince. Monster. Settle down. You will do nothing of the sort other than getting yourself hurt. If you try and shout strange things, to the mayor about someone she has met. What do you think will happen to you? We will find out. Get out of my way! She steps forward and is like, <laughs> <laughs> swinging this knife wildly. How close Get is she to us? <laughs> she's only, she's like less than, she's tried to keep herself away from you. If we're saying like, what would this be? Like 10 feet from here to here? She's probably only about 10 feet away from Kai. Okay, good. Um, Kathy's going to cast Hold Person. Okay. On her. Is that a save? Yes, it's a wisdom of... Ooh, where'd it go? I was there. thinking if I was there, I could try to charm her, but Kathy's <laughs> just going to bite her head yeah, off. you're too busy. Where is it? Little no, I can't find trinkets. it. <laughs> for you. Oh, for it me. I, I rolled a two. But still. Okay. Yeah. Um, so she's be like mid yeah. swing, and then her body like kind of just goes like this and goes, just stop. And she's stuck, and her eyes like her eyes were already wide, and she's just staring. She can't blink. She can't. Goes, say what you need to say, Kai. <laughs> Look, you know who I am. My family said I was dead because I left. I am here just trying to help. You have nothing to fear from me or anyone else. Do not do something and get yourself killed. Just put away the knife. Jeff will reach for it and take the knife out of her hand. Are you going to take it out? Yeah. Okay. And she's going to drop it next to her. She's like, oh, I don't know what time she's going to lose. <laughs> she's still held until, yep. I don't know how long. She's going to hold her and like, got anything else you want to say? <laughs> she seems more calm now. And she'll release it. She is going to dive for the knife. Like she, she goes like. Ah! And Kathy's gonna step on it, and she is down on the ground. She looks up at you, and she she looks at you first, one of your spawn, and then she looks at you at Kai. <laughs> you cannot stop me. You're more afraid than I am. Move out of the way. Can I just kill her now? <laughs> no, she's just a scared old woman. Can I at least take her tongue out? Because she's really loud. Mm. No. She's like shaking on the ground. But she, she's a, she, her whole body is like full of adrenaline that it doesn't know what to do with. And she's just on the ground looking at you. It's this interesting juxtaposition of like this beautiful flowery, ornate, embroidered outfit that she has. It's like splayed across the ground, all the dirt and everything kicked up. And this like Devenian coldness underneath um, staring up at you both, uh, all four of you really as she goes back and forth move out of my way 
Just calm down. Let us talk. You have nothing to be worried about. She's gonna try to run. She's gonna dash past you, or, well, getting kind of up from the ground and just kind of run through to try to get back to the party. You sure you want me to kill her? What are you doing? I kind of look at Kai like, Kai as an indication of like, should to, we do something? Like, stand in the way to stop her if he can grab her or okay let's do a contested strength are we gonna are we gonna walk in on like a manslaughter here (laughs) can i help him try to grab her are you gonna try to grab her too all right yep um so you can roll with advantage or you both can you can just roll roll. okay thank you for that advantage It's a dirty 20. Nice. Okay. Yeah, because she got a 16. She, like, hits into your chest. Um, I am going to need for there to be some kind of... We're going to go with, like, stealth or... What do I want this to be? It could be stealth. It could be deception. I think those are the two because you're trying to... You're, as a group, it's going to be a group role because you're, like, doing a thing that people are, like, looking, but... It's lively and everything, and it's one of those, do folks need to intervene? Are they just kind of watching what you're, is nobody paying attention? So just a group, Desi's going to be in on this too. He's So either, just let me know if you chose deception or stealth. I'm going with deception for Desi because he's um, not really sure how to handle this, and so he's like, <laughs> Nothing, everything you find. <laughs> Nothing's happening over here. Um, Deception 22. 22? 10. Deception or. Deception. Deception. I did stealth 21. Oh, 21. Stealth, sorry. Uh, <laughs> can't say words in there. It comes out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, and then Desi got a 10. He just looks guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that's a pretty. It, it, with between 22s and 10s, we're looking at like a 15, 16. So the average person is probably just wandering by, but it's you do catch like at least a one person who's like, you know, the, the people that keep their eye out a little bit. Um, maybe so there's an impenetrable that badge. peace cool. person who's. You didn't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Um, so she's up against you now. Um, what are you doing? Look. If I wanted you dead, you'd be dead already. I have no qualms with you hating my family. Just calm down. Talk with me. What happened to you? You were there one day, and the next you were gone. I haven't seen you in over a decade. Your evil sister. The two of you, together, you know what you did. She destroyed me, she destroyed my family, and sent me away. And I had to run. And I came here, and I thought I was safe, and now you are here. And they said you were dead. But you're not dead. Unless you've been all along. Monster. She spits in your face. (gasps) She backs up. (laughs) Away from you. (laughs) Uh oh. Okay. okay. We're okay. That was a 19 plus 21. Okay, we're okay. She she backs away from you. Get out of my way! Help! Help! Monster! There's a monster! She starts screaming. Um, How far? Where are we? Do we hear this? <laughs> no, you wouldn't hear. It. You went off somewhere. Okay. They kind of moved off. This is a these three folks <clears throat> situation. Desi is like looks at you, eye light, and is like, I I don't. What's happening? Because I, I don't know. This honestly. is like an old lady, <laughs> and we're like roughing up an old lady in, a, in an alleyway. I don't know if I can. Like, are you cool with this? Like, what's happening right now? It's okay with the cops. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what did you expect by speaking ill of the next queen in our home? You screwed up. And yes, there were consequences for that. But you are not dead. So stop running towards death. Quiet. Make a persuasion check. It's going to be with disadvantage because she's already 
ready to. And this is going to be the last roll. Yeah, that's a that's a one already. <clears throat> so that's with persuasion. That's a seven. She gets really quiet and looks at you. You are a monster trying to speak to a human being, and I will not listen. You maybe have convinced these others with you, but I know what you truly are, both you and your sister. You are. You are evil. You, you are a killer, and, and you are not dead. They must have sent you out here to convert others. I don't know, but I am going to the mayor, and I am going to tell her who you are, who you truly are. Get out of my way, or kill me here. Can I kill this crazy fat shit? But bitch, what makes please? you think he's a monster? She hears your voice from the, <laughs> <laughs> the demon has the voice of an angel. <laughs> this is my friend. Should I be worried? What? He is a vampire. Says who? Look at him. He's just pale. <laughs> he doesn't have fangs. He's not biting anybody. I've seen him in the daytime. I've seen him in a mirror. We had breakfast. We <laughs> just ate. It was garlic. <laughs> <laughs> we danced. He's only the two-step. <laughs> Vampires don't dance. <laughs> just racist. <laughs> Young lady, if you do not know, I have known this creature since it was a child. He is a vampire. He is evil. And I've heard that he has... I have heard things. Eats babies. And the fact that they are saying that the, the prince is dead and it is not true should tell you everything that you need to know. Do not try to dis- dissuade me. I have seen what I have seen. I'm I trying have known to hear you out. For a long time. He is a monster. And you are standing behind him protecting him. I would not expect you to believe me. I expect you to get out of my way. But you haven't given me any compelling evidence other than... He's a monster. I don't need to convince you of anything. Step aside. <laughs> I made a joke. I'm not going to do it. Unless you'd want me to. Are you like the girlfriend in the, um, was it the, the water boy? Like with the sign in the Did window. You want me to kill her? Kill her? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are we doing? What's the decision? What do you want Guy, us to how do? How serious Guy? is this? <laughs> how bad is it if she runs away? How bad do you need me to shut this one up, Kai? I love that our new friends that we're supposed to be hanging out with at this nice party are behind watching all this. <laughs> so the other what three the didn't see where you went. This is just Desi. Kai will cast Charm Person and say, There's no need for this. You notice that. So. As the words kind of come out of your mouth, there's a there's a way, as subtle as it is, when you're casting a spell, and you see it kind of like approach, it's almost like the air is approaching her, and she sees the way that you're saying this, and she goes, no, I have been preparing to fight against your kind my entire life, and she like puts her hand to her chest. Your evil vampire charms will not work on me. I am not a vampire. You have done a good job convincing your friends. Step aside. No. You are from Devenia. You've been raised in the ways of a Devenian. So you would know what this is. And he'll raise his sleeve and show the mark of the Raven Queen. Mm. You understand, she does not support vampires. I am not a vampire. I mean you no harm. She's just staring at you all now. They do not fall for vampiric tricks or charms. Step out of my way. She's gonna step forward. She keeps looking down at the knife, but you're standing on it, so she's just like... 
Little word of advice. Silver is for werewolves, not vampires. Are you getting out of her way? He won't get out of the way, but he won't hold her. She's gonna step. You see her kind of like preparing herself for whatever's about going to happen, if anything, and then and she's holding her, her hand to her chest very tightly. She puts her other hand over as she steps up to you and then kind of like pushes, squeezes <laughs> in between. As she squeezes by, Kath is going to ever do that again. I will kill you myself. <laughs> Understand? She, she doesn't answer. She just looks at you. And shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> she looks at Iolite. N- Nods. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah, looks at she's Desi. Like, she's taking all of you in. She elbows Desi. And he's like, I'm not. I'm not. <sighs> he has a real tough time making any kind of face. <laughs> he's just like, looks down at his feet. And she's going to run. She runs off into the, into the festival. Kai will immediately turn towards Desi. We have to have a conversation. All right, okay. Here, right now, or me, Maury, the group? With you. Okay, all right. (laughs) Right now, or, he's looking at ILA, like. Now, now's good. Yes, now. Okay. Let's find someplace a little less Oh, in the open. All right. Are you all about to slit my throat? No. I just want to be prepared <laughs> to fight back. If I wanted you dead, you'd be dead already. I mean yeah, that. Yeah, I heard you say that. <laughs> okay. I'm cool. I'm all right. Of course. That's what the conversation will find out. You're all right. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. She'll like take his hand and kind of squeeze it. I'm like, I'm not gonna, not gonna be yep. all right. Okay. <laughs> all right. So you all, are you gathering your whole group up? Yeah, everyone. Together to gonna get the down. stragglers. Just, just Desi though, not the rest okay. of his we're, friends. We're walking. I have the new bottle of rum. And uh, I'm just. Shopping bags. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just holding it above my head dancing and like I keep like <laughs> hip checking you because you're not dancing. <laughs> Desi sees the, the other group of three but he's like <laughs> all the, it's fine and Fernilli's like okay kind of back and forth and little wave and she stays back because clearly he wants her to do that. So you all meet and find a little quiet area to have a conversation. So we need to talk about some of the things you might have just heard. Wait, what just happened? (laughs) A lot. You guys, you missed a lot. (laughs) A lot has happened in a very short amount of time. I know, we were only away for about ten minutes. I'm going to be right next to Desi and kind of like arm on his shoulder, because I can tell he's very freaked out. (laughs) Yeah, we um, we kind of all four of us threatened the life of an old lady in an alley. It was more me threatening her life, but she yeah. wasn't just like any old lady. Anyway, <laughs> she was to me, but please. You may have heard some things that she said. They're not true. So why don't you... Why don't we talk about what she said? I don't know. What did she say? <laughs> as he as I search all of you, if that was the correct answer. And guys, you're gonna look at him like there's like confu- life, confusion in our eyes. We're just like, <laughs> I know. I'm like, are we supposed to be like, <laughs> like metal on the leather? Like, are we supposed to be killing him? What's going I'm on? I'm wearing like a white see-through <laughs> shit. I have no weapons on me. <laughs> you guys just kill an old lady, now we gotta kill Eyelight's like best friend. <laughs> the fuck? You missed a few chapters. Hey, we get to kill him? <laughs> <laughs> He's a ride or die. He's oh, ready wait, to fucking kill. Oh wait, killing him's on the table. <laughs> we can just do that. Let's start with Let's start with who she was Yes, she was the person 
who helped raise me from an infant. Me and my sister. Okay. So you must have heard what she called me then. She called you, um, so there was monster, vampire, undead, killer, um, there was prince, um, I, that might have been all of them. All right. So let's not use those words again. Okay. Oh, this sounds eventful. Yeah. Yes. I may not have been completely forthcoming with who I am. I need to know if I can trust you, which I don't trust very easily. So I need to know up front. Well, I, not trying to be funny, but I feel like I only have one correct answer to give you in this particular situation, so yes, you can trust me. Um, I, we're all gonna have to trust each other. We're gonna be together for a while. You have trusted me to some extent given what you've found out about what I've done. I don't know all of the people in your group, but I can assume that everyone maybe has their own baggage like we do. Yeah, there's a lot of broken backs in our group. I think a bigger question would be what questions do you have? Uh, I guess I don't really I don't know. Were, were you going to kill that lady? Ever? She seemed pretty convinced that you would. And she seems very convinced that you are the prince. She didn't really say, but since you're Devenian, and there was the whole thing about the prince of Devenia being dead... Uh, I, yeah, I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of questions, but, um, I don't know if I, if me knowing the answer is gonna help or just make you more, all more afraid of what I... That is a very good answer. He's a very smart boy, this one. She walks up and she does the, mm-hmm. a very smart boy. I believe he can be, I believe he can, he can be trusted. <laughs> If you can keep my secret, we have no quarrel. Uh, Is the secret... You told me not to say any of those words, and I'm trying to be respectful of that. What, What is the secret that I am keeping? Which one of, or multiples of the words that I can't say. (laughs) Perhaps the last 30 minutes are to be forgotten. All right. Don't say any of them. Okay. All right. I'm assuming then that they're all the secret. All right. We're about to be spending a lot of time together, Desi. So I can't have... (coughs) Excuse me. Thanks. (laughs) (laughs) I can't have you acting weird on the boat around me. Yep. Mm -hmm. So let's lay it out on the table. My name is Malachi Morningstar of the Morning Stars of Devenia. Alright. How caught up on world politics are you? Uh, I mean, I, I know the names of the leaders of not all of the 
not all of the places, but given that Devenia and, and Cassia and Kalia are, uh, have been trying to forge alliances anyway, I know that much. Um, I know, I know the Morningstar name. Yeah. As you can tell, I am not dead. Yep. I ran away. I have a condition. All right. <laughs> I'm on the cocktail. I was going to say this is a conversation to have after a one night stand. You're like, you have nothing to worry there's about. There's a thing you should know. <laughs> I am not a vampire. But I toe the line between what it means to be human and one of them. Right. He looks over at Iolite. His uh, the expression on his face is like he's he gives a little like half smile when you're smiling at him, <laughs> but he suddenly looks very worried. And it doesn't appear to be worry for himself. He's like looks at you and there's like a worry for you. It's very clear. And then he looks back at Kai. All right. I am here because this is where fate has brought me. It's why we go by the name The Woven Fates. I'm not dangerous to you or your friends. But we do not want that extra attention that me traveling with you all can bring. So I am just Kai, as far as you know. All right. So I ask you one more time, do you have any questions? No, not for Kai. Are we gonna have to leave early? Is my only question, is if she just went to go tell on you. I'm going to have to go have a conversation with Commander Stoneforge. Tell, the woman is, old woman you roughed up in the alleyway is going to uh, tell what? Him? Mm. She knows who I am. Who is she going to tell? The mayor. What makes you think the mayor will believe a random old woman? I don't think she will, but if the mayor takes no action, she might cause issues while we're still on the island. I mean, I suppose. There are a lot of crazies. She just one more. Hopefully you're right. But it's... Too much is at stake right now to have something slow us down. Did we know that Stoneforge knew? that We don't. Did, did, I don't yeah. remember if you told us. He, he said knew. it out yeah. loud in the last oh. meeting oh, okay. you had. Okay. Yeah, Stoneforge said it to all of you. Oh. Then I suppose you should go and uh, talk to Stoneforge. And I'm sure he will happily keep things under wraps. I don't know about happily, but... I was being, uh, how you say, jokey. I'm sure he doesn't want any more panic happening and somebody shouting about vampires on a small island will definitely not ease everyone's tension. Most of us probably do not even know what vampires are on this island, especially tonight. <laughs> Takes the bottle rum. Tink, tink, tink. <laughs> All right. Thank you for keeping my secret, Desi. Yeah, of course. Kyle looked towards Iolite before leaving. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be okay. She goes, 
smart boy. Mm. Rubs his hair. Where does he? All right, I'm gonna go get a drink and meet up with um, with Fernelli, just you know, to let her know I'm good. So I will meet with you all. I'll meet. I'll, I'll meet up with you in a bit. I just need a minute to go let her know I'm, I'm okay. All right. Excuse Can I come with you for a second? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to come with you for a Are second. Are you cool? Because you really don't, <laughs> don't seem cool right now. I really don't seem cool right now. <laughs> Stay calm, honey bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we have a little sidebar before you leave? <laughs> it's like, all right. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. I like, tell the bitch to calm down. <laughs> Be cool, man. Uh, is there a spot where I can kind of just like pull him off yeah, to the side? Yeah, yeah okay. Um, she's gonna like take his hands and then kind of like then put her hands on his shoulders and be like, "Are you okay? Because you really don't. You no. I mean, you're not okay. I can tell. No, I mean that was really. It was a little bit fucked up. Um, <laughs> that we were like, there's a, an old lady in in an, in an alley and like we won't let her leave and. Yeah, and then like I wasn't really sure if something was gonna happen to her or not, and like you seemed real comfortable, more comfortable than me with the whole scenario. So I, you know, it's probably just I need to get to know everybody, and because it seemed like you were, you didn't think that anybody was gonna hurt anybody, but it was unclear to me whether, whether, like my new friends uh, were going to slaughter a woman in, in an alley. So that's just, that was it. And now I understand why there was so much tension because it's the fucking prince of, of fucking Devenia right there. Yeah, that's yeah. the prince. And, but they, and they can be scary, but they're yep, royalty can generally be fair. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, Kai. Not, oh, well, not yeah, all yeah, of yeah, the yeah. royalty. Okay, yeah. I mean, I haven't really I think like Catherine and Kai can be a little intimidating. Oh, yeah. Um, but generally, they are okay. Yeah, of good moral. But like, you wouldn't have let an old lady like die in a, an alley. I mean, I wasn't gonna be the one to throw the first blow, if that's what you mean. Um, I sort of wanted to hear out the situation, I guess. But uh, if Kai, Kai was stressed, and I was stressed, and you, you can trust him. I know that wasn't a situation that would imbue a lot of trust for you, uh, and I understand why. That was a lot. But I would not be here were it not for Kai. All right. Like, I died. And he didn't have to do anything. And he went to great lengths to bring me back. What do you mean you died? When I did mean, that happen? When did you die? You I just, mean, you just when died, I, and now you're not dead? Well, when I was supposed to meet oh, you, I went somewhere else, and then some things happened, and then I died. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. It was last Tuesday <laughs> yada, yada, around yada. 4 p.m. Died, now I'm back. He's like, you know what? I didn't meet you for that date, and you were probably just like, with other guys. No, I don't. I was just, I was just dead. Dead. <laughs> he, he, like, takes his hands out of your hand. Or no, you have your... He, like, backs away and is like, you put yourself in the in, in a... in so much danger that... that you... that you died when... I would have gone out there. You sent... you sent a cat to tell me to stay... to, like, wait for you. And now you're telling me you, you died? What does that even mean? You died and now you're not dead? What... Are you, is this like a figure of speech? What are you talking about? No, I very much died. And, you know, Kai said the thing about the Raven Queen. Yeah. Uh, he, I kind of like saw her because I was dead. And that's what happens when you die, turns out. You uh, meet her, the stories are true. And he talks to her. And she doesn't usually just let people come back, but he he got me back. 
he steps forward and just like hugs you, puts your head into like his chest and holds really tight. And you can hear his heart is beating so fast. He's just like, doesn't have anything more to say as he's just holding you there. So just believe me when I tell you he's a very, very good friend. And I trust him. And I hope you can trust him too. Even after all that. He lets go. Has his hands on your shoulders now. All right. I, I've got to be honest. If something happened to that lady, I don't know. I don't know what I would have done. I can't, I, I mean, I don't know if I would have been able to be okay with it. No, I mean, we're not like, you're not like a killer. I'm not a killer. I wasn't going to like kill her. But it just, the stakes were high. We just needed to scare her a bit. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. I didn't think he was going to kill her. Well, I wasn't Probably. Really, I mean, your friend Kethra looked like she was... She... She was, like, pretty serious about it. If anyone was going to kill her, it would have been Kethra, but... <laughs> she came All from right. the rough part of town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She didn't. No, she didn't. No. She looked like... She, okay, yep. Okay, yeah. So, I'm sorry that, that you had to kind of be there for all that, but I guess it's good that you have all the info now, I suppose. Well, I'm sorry that I wasn't there when you died. I wouldn't have wanted you to be there for that. You've been through enough. And I'm here now. I guess that's right, because if I had been there, I probably wouldn't be here. It's the one thing I wouldn't be able to take. The one last thing. All right, I'm just gonna go. I need to get a drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll um, meet up with you. I'm just okay. gonna let Fernelli know. She's like the mama bear around all of us. So I can tell. She's gonna like hug him really tight and kind of like rub his back and be like. You're okay. It's all right. He reciprocates. <laughs> real tight. Okay, I'll see you later. All right, bye. Bye. Turn. Does all this happen around a corner? Is it with an eyesight in general? Like out of earshot, but with an eyesight? Where does it happen? I think I would have tried to do it kind of around a corner, not yeah, in eyesight. Okay. I feel like that would have made him more nervous if everyone was watching. <laughs> this everyone staring staring I am staring at him <laughs> over my shoulder. They're talking in front of a window and this guy looking through the blinds. Suddenly, Catherine is a wolf so she can hear better. <laughs> little spider like, crawls up on his shoulder like, don't say shit, motherfucker. <laughs> don't say shit or I will kill you. <laughs> yeah, I forgot Catherine can be things like spiders. Yeah. I'm just used to a her flies. being a big scary thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't scary say shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The festival continues. Is if there's anything else, otherwise it is. Kai's gonna track down Stoneforge and give him a heads up that someone from his past is looking to blow up his spot in the <laughs> middle of Yamari Island. I'm getting right. fried fish on a stick. Okay. Catherine's gonna go up to Ireland, <laughs> grab that rum, and just take it. <laughs> I would Thanks, say <laughs> it is for we sharing. We have to pass the bottle around yeah. for a swig. <laughs> the for rest everyone. of the night is just, just all of us <clears throat> taking a swig. Um, I would say Stoneforge is probably gonna be difficult to find on this evening, but another day you'd be able to do that. Is there anything else on a? I mean, it's not like this lady can walk right up to the mayor. She's like, the fuck she can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there anything else that you wanted that anybody wants to do on Fortune 10? Um, I have something I want to do like before we go to bed, but that's not necessarily okay right now. Per se. No, that can be now. Mm-hmm. If there's nothing else. Mm-hmm. All right, your evening ends. The festival. 
the festival is going to go early into the morning, um, but in terms of all of the things you've done and the stress and adrenaline kind of kicking in in an hour or so and everybody's starting to get tired, you are able to um, make your way back to the, the home. Um, what would I like to do? Um, I think like before, this would probably just be like before going to bed, so maybe everyone's, there's a, she's already said goodnight and gotten ready for bed, but is going to try to like go up on the roof. I don't know what our like roof situation is. Eldon's oh, gone on the roof, right? <laughs> like, he could tell you. Eldon goes up there, yep. right? Um, okay. Eyelight's going to find a way up there. He's like, not doing on my roof? Not graceful like Eldon at all. She's not like a roof climber, so she's like awkwardly, unless there's like an easy way up. She's Would be if you went through Eldon's room. <laughs> thump, thump, thump in the room. I was gonna, say, yeah. Do we hear that? So I'm picturing like terracotta style, like roof yeah. shingles. Oh, when one slips, they all yeah, slip. Yeah, oh, like, Jesus. It makes that almost like it's like horse, stone on stone. Yeah, like horse like, sound, like the. But have you ever seen when you tug one mm-hmm. and they all and can slide? <laughs> uh, she just wants to look for a constellation. Okay, while she's up there. All right. Which one? The Kraken. The Kraken. All right. Up on the roof top, the reindeer. <laughs> click, click, click. The Kraken. I just want to find. Oh, oh, the Kraken. Okay. Uh, the Kraken, looking up at the night sky, it is, like, you, you have to be up on the roof because there's so many bright lights around, but it's still, um, beautiful. Uh, it's not so much that the lights are illuminating too much of the area so that you can't see the sky. It's more subdued and, and in the center of town, which is a little bit further away. Um, it's still very loud in the arts district where you all are, but you can kind of like let all of that slide away momentarily. You see the Kraken the constellation shaped so that like the tentacles are spread out. Um, and you know that focusing on it, it's said that those who look up at that constellation will be warned of impending danger and will take caution in their travels, which is apt, given that you are going to be out on the sea. Um, you can go ahead and roll. D100, right? Mm-hmm. 58. Why don't you describe what, what Ayla is doing? I think she is lying on her back and like this isn't something she's done in a little while not since she's trying to like envision oh I know she takes out the locket and she opens it and sees Cryon Hmm. and kind of uses that to feel like he is also there she takes out his journal and she's kind of like holding both of those things and sits with her legs crossed, looks up and kind of like tries to go to that place that she went with Cryon. And it's sort of this weird, like almost like mentally like zooming, mm. zooming in and things kind of blur and like her, it's like this kind of focus that is very specific and intense. You can almost see like the outline of the Kraken constellation as as it's been drawn on all of those star maps that the assembly had. Um, you can almost see it just fading in and out of view. And as she focuses on it and tries to really hone in and connect like she did with Cryon, it like fades in into view and then just slowly over the course of an hour or two of really meditating on that space, she sees it fade into view and then just slowly fade 
the way. I'm gonna have to try again. But looking at Cryon in the pendant, it's like he it's like he's saying silently. Let's try again. Wish you were here. Let's close it up. Climb back down. While uh, Iolate was doing that, Kai uh, was gonna wait till everyone was kind of like going down for the night, and then he's gonna knock at Catherine's door. What? <laughs> Can I speak with you? Oh dear God. I yeah. left a bottle of rum with you. <laughs> yeah, come on in. I'll open the door. Close it behind him. You can hear <laughs> Nick's Hicks is at you. <laughs> I want to say thank you for having my back tonight. You're welcome. You know it would have been a lot easier if I just cut her tongue out, right? It would make things much easier. You're too diplomatic sometimes. Sometimes I'm too in my own head. Are we still talk about the same thing we were talking about before? This feels like a double entendre. You know, you always know how to make me laugh. I'm not trying to make you laugh. I need to apologize to you. Okay, what for? The last time me and you spoke. Oh, that. You were kind of a douchebag. Those things that she said. I'm a monster. I'm evil. Vile creature. She's not completely wrong. Everybody has that in them. I still don't know what's going to happen to me as we continue on this journey. None of us know what's going to happen. But there's only one thing I am sure of. You want to enlighten me? I'm sure that I love you. Oh. <laughs> well, this escalated quickly. <laughs> Look, when we were in the cave, mm -hmm. we all saw Shabazz coming through the portal. Yeah, that was pretty horrifying. And if she made it through, this island would be no more. Possibly the whole world. Yeah, you're right. And in that cave, we needed to kill those cultists. I could see Shabazz. I had one lined up. And then I heard you fall. Okay. I knew that we were losing at that moment. And I didn't care. I ran to you. And I got you to safety. Growing up, you hear stories, stories of adventurers, knights, whatever, and they're willing to risk it all and throw everything away to save the world. And I knew at that moment, 
I was ready to let the world burn to make sure you were all right. And you got really weirded out because you've never felt that before. Is that what this is about? I didn't trust myself. I can. I can let things stay the way they are between us. What do you want then? Kai walks over and kisses her. <laughs> She's gonna kiss you back and go. It's gonna have to be different this time. I do love you, but I have to find it in myself to forgive you for what you did. I had told you a lot of things on the ship before we got to Yamari, thinking I'd never see you again. But I did tell you about how I have an abandonment issue. And that's what you did. It's going to take me some time to trust you again. Doesn't mean I don't love you. I'm not going anywhere. I would sacrifice a thousand Yamari Islands just to be with you. I really didn't have this on my bingo card for tonight. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. That's probably best. I need some time. Take all the time you need. You knew that you were all I had. The closest relationship I had here. And due to your own fears, you cast me aside. I am going to have to learn to trust you again. I will be here. I also can't guarantee that it will ever be the same. I don't trust easily. And I really, I do not re-trust easily at all. I'm not perfect. I don't expect you to be. I don't even know if I'm truly good, but I know, but I know I want to be for you. You need to make me a promise. I don't want you to be anything for me. I don't want you to be anything for me. I want you to be yourself because that's who I loved. I can do that. And the next time you're feeling vulnerable, I will not allow you to do that to me again. Understood? As you wish. I need to think. Can you go? Good night, Catherine. Good night, Kai. Catherine, go look at X, go, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> Mind fuck.
Fuck. 101. Jesus. Come on. <laughs> Isla! <laughs> you got any more rum? I have wine. <laughs> you have a running. Thank you, grab it. <laughs> throw, a couple, throw a couple gold at you. Thank you. And run back out and go. <laughs> and Catherine doesn't drink, so. <laughs> All right. Any other Fortune 10 scenes? Not for that night. Okay. Um, the next several days uh, you have open to you until Fortune 20. Um, a couple of things uh, that happen. The, we'll say within two days, um, well, first, Isla is Isla leaving the next day to go? Isla leaves shockingly before the dawn. She leaves a note for everybody, letting her know that she needs to go home. There's a lot of business that she needs to attend to and goodbyes that need to be done. And she'll be back before the boat leaves. Okay. Um, any, anything else anyone's doing specific? So the mayor's going to come by day two. That is a thing that's going to, like the second day after. Um, and we're going to say the mayor stops by because she's heard a rumor and she wants, she wants to have a conversation with Kai, whether or not we will play the whole thing. But, um, I'm going to ask for, you're not, Isla's not there. I'm going to ask for a persuasion check from Kai because... I love the bardic inspiration die. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Snap. Read Snap. this. Read this. <laughs> Snap this. Um, she comes by with Valen. Poker face, like p politician face. Um, and her con uh, concern. She's heard a rumor. And she just needs to assess the, the validity of it. But she doesn't really give much more than that. She t takes a tour of your home. So I guess... Theratrix stuffed in a closet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Before you make a check, what, what generally would you be... How would you be approaching this situation with the mayor? Um, because Kai would probably have an idea of what it is he's going to try to play it off as more mistaken identity divenians you know they all kind of resemble one another to a certain extent and you know, pale motherfuckers <laughs> and you know he's just a a regular Joe. Yeah, every emo kid looks the okay. same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to say that that's more of a de deception. Um, yeah, just roll a deception check. Is that a 20? That is a natural 20. <gasps> oh! Oh, I thought it was okay. 20. Yeah, the one face he made, I was like, oh. That face made me nervous. Boat launches two days early. <laughs> Total of 26. Okay. I was about to hand you that because I was nervous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, make an insight check as well. I mean, it's it's a sliding scale. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's I mean, definitely that, polarity right is there. That one? That is yes, one. it is. Oh, wow. So that's a three total. Okay. <clears throat> Hmm. All right. So as the mayor is leaving, so you have this conversation and she just nods, agrees. Um are you have you uh are you all mentioning to the mayor would it have come up that you are leaving, that you are going to be going off yeah, the island? Yeah, we're, okay. we're not going to try and like sneak away. 
All right. Okay. She she wishes you well, and and you know, obviously, until you leave, you gotta play. As you are, as she is leaving, she spends the time. She brings gifts, um, food, and little thank you baskets. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, um, Valen locks eyes with you. As she is, uh, she doesn't need to help the the mayor. The mayor can go off on her own. But Valen just, as they're walking out the door, she turns, looks at you, and all she does is stare at you for just a second too long. Her face does not change, and then she closes the door behind. That's a real low. That's a nat one. So <laughs> it's like. Her, her gaze lingers in a way that stays with you. Um, and she closes that door behind. Uh, Isla is, meets with her mother. Um, is there anything in particular? I know she wants to learn. Her she would tell everything that she learned about... Um, Chiron. Chiron. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You were saying Chiron, and it's they're so similar. To, Cry- you're Cryon and Chiron. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tell her everything she learned. How she blames me, blames us, and the and everything. How she has been back but didn't come back home, and vast leader of a vast criminal empire, and all that. And then yes, she's going to do some training with mom and and uh, others there okay. um, yeah Nadia is is distraught by the news um, she she also lets you know that she's going to be stepping back sooner than than she had expected to do the the, the new blood of the village, you know, the way, the old ways that were established, they're just, they're old ways and they need to be adjusted and, and they want, they don't want the elders to be leading in the same way that they were. And this is the decision that the village has made. And so she's going to be stepping back and um, younger folks with um, your... Fresh ideas. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I'm getting her name. Crap. Your um, friend there, the white tiefling, is going to be taking her leadership space sooner than. Her name is Nyanga. She's going to be stepping up, which is fine, because Nadia will be able to have time to. Do more things and spend time with you and spend time helping your father uh, as he gets used to his prosthetic. And um, you notice that while you're there, other other younger folks are, are being uh, trained to start taking over for the elder mothers. I can't get back home and I don't recognize it anymore. Yeah. Times change, and you spend the rest of your time learning as Nadia, when she's not kind of teaching Yanga what to do, is spending more time with you. Does she give me any, and you don't have to tell me this right now, but does she give me anything to say when I find her, or any, like, edict, or direction, or a- any? No, in fact, her, what she says is that she believes that that the tribe failed Chiron and that when you meet with her you'll know what to say based off of the interaction that you have oh boy (laughs) the tribe did not save her and Nadia does tell you that she hadn't she hadn't really said this to anyone before but 
she was told that when they went to go save Chiron and um, the other one with the Z name died. Uh, Eonia. And they were able to save (laughs) and they were able to save Eonia. There was at least it was described to her and your father always felt horrible and guilty about it but it was almost as if they needed to make a choice there were there the situation was such that they couldn't get both of them although the two of them were within arm's reach they had to choose one of them and they chose Eononia for whatever reason in the this was a long time ago so either it was easier to get her, she was right there, or circumstances changed last minute, or somebody fell on the way to go get. It doesn't really matter. Her, he told her that he saw Chiron's outstretched hand like reaching for him and he reached but couldn't get close enough, like was maybe inches away. And he goes to bed every night seeing her outstretched hand and being this close. And he just couldn't. He couldn't do it. But they didn't say that when they came back. They didn't want to make it sound like they could have and didn't. Because it's not as simple as that. It's never that simple. Mm -hmm. Um, But he always kept that. And so when you mentioned to her that Chiron says that she was left there and that they could have and they did not Nadia is like almost more upset by that that Chiron believes that she was maybe like not as important or just left there because it was easier not to or like they could have and didn't and she's very upset by it but she and so believes that Nothing they can say at this point. If you're going to see her, you'll have to see her one-on-one, meet her where she is, and have a conversation, if she allows it. I'm good at that. (laughs) She's like, are you sure about that? (laughs) Are you sure about that? Are you now? Are you sure about that? She would also send letters to the um, uh, concert hall letting her know she's going and mm-hmm. saying you know don't, don't be bullied by him this is a cult okay probably like a day or two before we leave Kai will uh, send out that letter okay mm-hmm Kai will go out at night while everyone's sleeping, mm-hmm. to be more specific, and then come back several hours later. Um, okay, what else? Anything over the 10 days that Kethra is going to do? Most likely she would go out and try to find a bookstore. Okay. Because she wants to educate herself on the things she never learned Okay. while she's on the boat. Oh, all right. Anything specific? Or? Um, history of different... Hi- the real history of Devenia. Okay. The real history of everywhere she's been so far. She buys that whole book series. The <laughs> real history <laughs> of... Yes, because she's like, I didn't learn any of this. <laughs> and she's going to try to find a new cloak that's heavier. Mm-hmm. And she also wants to try and find something for Nyx. Okay. She wants to find like a little like a little hood for him, a little hood and cape for him because it's going to be cold where we're going. Aww. Okay. And she wants to try to find that for Nyx. All right. Yeah. All of those things can be found. What She's else? Be going on to the boat with like <laughs> books. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that to make it easier uh, I'll come up with some kind of like plus plus something to rolls made on things that are happening 
like probably more related to like history or nature or things like that. Um, she wants to learn about like everything that the cult wouldn't have allowed her to learn, right. like history, science, other forms of magic, things that were just evil to them. Right. Okay. She's like, I want to know the truth. All right. She feels like knowledge against it. If she has knowledge when she meets her father, it's going to help her out. Sounds good. Because she can see through his BS, <laughs> per se. Better. Okay. And she wants to know exactly more about the Dibenya she never got to see. Okay. <laughs> Tell me she's gonna be reading it going this is history. not that bad <laughs> this is this, this is pretty bad but yeah you want to go spend a week in my cult <laughs> <laughs> they're tapped buddy like they're nuts what about Eldon um just kind of hanging with everybody mm -hmm. uh goes up on the roof a lot at sunset writes Okay. Yep. Someone's been on my roof. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's, here. I think, going to go every night. Every night. Yeah. Between. Between. Oh. I smell. Yeah. Yeah. I is, is, there, is there, like, a peak, and he's over here, and she's there, and neither of them know <laughs> that the other sunset, one's on the other side. She later than yeah, she's going so. later at Are there night. bedrooms, yeah. like, on the opposite <laughs> sides of the peak, so then it's just, like, one night they both walk up, and, like, oh, yeah. like <laughs> what are you doing? Why don't you roll for Fortune 11? Eldon specifically likes when the sun sets and then he sees a cross. It's it's that moment if you've ever seen the lights come on, like if you've been up yeah. high and you see the lights come on in a city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's candles. Mm -hmm. so you You're watching the, the guys on stilts, the candle dudes. Okay. Yeah, right. Twelve. Twelve. Forty-seven again. Thirteen. <laughs> different dice. Different dice. <laughs> Forty-three. <laughs> I must roll it again. Fourteen. 60, 61. Yeah, you want to try some of these yes. dice? <laughs> okay. Do you present that? Uh, yeah. All right, 17th, 39. Oh, that's a worse. <laughs> 18th, 94. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> On the 18th. <laughs> The night of the 18th, um, rolling into the 19th, which would be the last day before you go. Uh, I alight up on the roof. Um, this time, it's been frustrating, but also um, there's, there's, it's meditation. So while it's frustrating, there is also just the knowledge that you're still gaining something from it um and that focus on the kraken as you get closer almost like looking out over the ocean and then looking up at the sky um and knowing that you'll be out on on the sea very soon and reaching for the the energy um tapping into all of that on the 19th you as you stare up at the Kraken, see the um, <coughs> the outline doesn't fade like it did all the other nights that you have been up here. Does she look at Cryon's face every time? Yeah, I feel like that would be kind of her little yeah. ritual, is to like have the journal and to have his... I picture like this time her hands like resting on both the journal and the the locket and then seeing that outline like zooming in on it and it's like the outline of the kraken up in the sky the tentacles reaching out and this time that almost pinkish line drawing stays and she feels it within her. And there's a warmth in her chest where the shard sits. And then 
looking down, she sees the exact replica of the Kraken constellation appears right. She feels almost like a burning, but not one that's painful, and pulls down her tunic there and looks and sees it's right on her chest, and she can almost feel the energy of it. And she gains the ability with the Kraken when submerged in water to breathe normally as if in air and suffer no penalties to movement, attack rolls, or vision and melee range increased by five feet. Nice. Um, and when she looks down at the uh, the locket with Cryon's face where it had been it's not there but it would be replaced with somebody else and I'm going to let you choose who that is would she see replacing that as the <laughs> as the like warmth of being when you can't think of someone think of me <laughs> successful in this endeavor finally after all of this time um She sees Alora. Yep. Alora, as she knew her in life, Iolite was lucky enough not to see what happened to Alora. And so she wouldn't have any other vision than that of her softly smiling face and curly hair. welcoming smile, her eyes that always told Iolite she was enough and protected her. And now she has this extra protection for their journey. It would be that day that Kaylin would stop by your group as well. And, and having found out that you were leaving, she offers to watch your home while you're away. She's like, I don't really have any place to... I've been staying with a friend, but it'd be better if I had my own place. And I should be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be empty. <laughs> it's ours. No one can use it but us. Can you water my rocks while we're gone? Of course. Thanks. Just write a schedule for me. <laughs> I don't fuck it up. Just watch out for the... Um... What was it called? The glass room that Theratrix was staying in? Yeah, the atrium. Watch out for the atrium. It inspires odd dreams. <laughs> Good to know. I might check it out on purpose. <laughs> what else? What else am I thinking? Who else would stop by? You wanted to have a conversation with Stoneforge? I'm going to see if you can get to him. Let's roll a, let's roll a, um, a persuasion ch check to see if you can get to Stoneforge. Persuasion nineteen. Yes, you got are badges, able. man. Yeah, <laughs> you can get to him. What did what is what is Kai trying to leave him with? Um, just that. Uh, the woman, uh, lady. Lowry, Lowry, Madame Lowry, yeah. Um, Madame Lowry is uh, knows who I am and is so I'm already causing trouble. You know, tell him I had a conversation with the mayor that seemed a little, a little off, and uh, chances are people are probably going to be picking up that he was here, so it might cause some 
issues in uh, the coming time after I leave. Just basically, he was kind enough to keep Kai's secret so he doesn't want to leave him high and dry when yeah. something might be coming his way. He would let Kai know that Madame Lowry has been speaking to a lot of people and that Valen has caught wind. Um, and Valen is just very good at her job, is how he puts it. And uh, that it's a good idea for you to leave because Yamari Island is not going to be a safe haven. Don't tell him where you're going. He doesn't want to know, he says. But not to worry about him. He'll be fine. He personally is going to be just fine. Kai and him will exchange that silent glance that they normally do, and Kai is on his way. <laughs> okay. Mori, um, Mori it doesn't, only very lightly says hello to you during this entire time. Um, for Nilly and Yuri and Zix and Desi, they continue spending a lot of time with you all, especially Desi, uh, as much as he can. And we're, unless there's something specific before you go. Isla has to come back the night before. The night before, yep. Yeah. Maury will meets with all of you and just let you know it's going to be early morning on the 20th. Um, you're, you're not leaving before the sun's come out because that's not safe, but you should be on the boat by the time. The boat, the tally-ho. But Isla comes back in time for dinner. Okay. And uh, she's dressed, still revealing, but more adventury looking. She's wearing. What she believes adventury looking. Is. What she believes adventury looking is. She has a headband. She's uh, no. She's actually wearing the elven cloak of comfort that okay. she bought. Mm -hmm. um, uh, she the tattoo, magical tattoo is still. It's like a tribal thing that goes like on the chest and up the shoulders. And uh, she's still wearing heel shoes, but different shoes. Mm -hmm. They're they're fuller. They're fuller shoes. Um, <laughs> so they're like a boot, but open toe. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you gotta protect the feet. So, <laughs> um, the starkest thing though is you notice that she has cut her hair off. Mm. Not like, not like bald. Not like bald. That was invasion of the body snatchers style. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> but she returns uh, you you have all seen her at this point that her hair goes down to like so the crack we, of her are tail we, are we talking pixie cut or are we talking bob slightly longer than pixie cut but not a bob so it's like sure. it's like a short cut kind of longish but like it's like thrown over a horn on the one side yeah Ooh. and uh so like the blue streak isn't as prominent because it comes from the root and grows out so it's like it's just like a, you know when you like cut your hair it's like you see all the new blue growths mm -hmm. yeah. in places that weren't there before and she has returned to you at the time oh. of your greatest need we are about to leave. <laughs> ready to go with a closet full of stuff <laughs> all right all right the morning of Fortune 20, you are greeted fairly early, just before the sun's come up, by uh, Desi, who seems very excited for you to follow him to the to the dock. Um, it's always busy in the Arts District as you walk through, uh, gathered all of your stuff. Um, you approach the harbor. The suns are rising as you get there, and um, Maury and, and all of the folks are, are there to greet you. You get up onto the boat. You see, uh, as, you're, as you are uh, going across the gangplank, you hear Isla, and turn around and you can see Paley and um, Starner Bushy Branch, Sigald, um, Elmfrid, they're all standing there and like want to see you off. And Paley runs up and she's Sigald like, like this. 
<laughs> he he looks very dramatic. He's got a little tear that he keeps pushing, and it like comes down, and then like another one. He's like big bon voyage. <laughs> <laughs> um, Haley comes out, runs over, and hugs you. She's like, "You're really going. You're really doing it. It is happening. Yes. Be very careful out there. It's you know, it's dangerous off this island. Yeah, it's dangerous on the island now." Not as much as out there. That is true. You will all keep a place for me, yes? Yeah. Of course. Of course. We got your note about Muriel. She's great. Her voice is fantastic. Yes, she would be a great addition. Yeah. Sigald wants to do a two-person show and just have her singing in the background, so... Oh, I'm... She'll be very good. (laughs) I'm sure she will have fun with that. (laughs) Well... We, we wanted to give you this. She gives you your favorite pastry. No. I will miss these. You're very kind. It's All of you. Not much, but... Make it last. You should come back when you run out. That should be your signal to come back. Oh, I fully intend to return. Good, good. Everybody comes up and gives you a <laughs> hug. Elmfred... She's just like, I'll miss you, but, (laughs) you know, I'll keep your room good for you, too. I trust you will. And all the costumes I have left in there. Yes. Oh, Fred's wearing, like, your fanciest dress. (laughs) She's she's wearing, like, six different outfits. I added some sequins to some already. Just so you're not surprised. I'd rather they be used than not. All right. Oh. Take care. Do amazing performances. It's not possible without you here. Ah. Sigal is like, it absolutely is. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it for the past two weeks. <laughs> Paley gives Ayalite a hug, too. And Sharner and all of the Karak. Bushy Branch gives hugs silently. Um, you all get on to the Tally How. The Tally Ho, Captain. Hold on. I got all the names here. Captain Esvel. Uh, this uh, female human. She greets you all. Just you don't get to really know much of the folks, and a bunch of people get on as as you're. Is this like prepping. a passenger? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's some passenger I don't know if we're like, cargo. Yeah, I don't know if we we're on like a fruit transport ship or something no it's it, there's some cargo but it's a lot of folks that are just leaving so you see a variety of of individuals and then you uh standing on the edge just kind of push off into the harbor as the suns are coming up um you're setting off into the rising sun so you get this beautiful view of the sunrise as you go hello stands actually in the back mm-hmm. and she's just watching the island get okay. smaller and you, smaller you watch smaller. the the uh, daydream revolution as um it's still fairly dark like this the suns are coming up over the ocean um they all start to like shuffle away and as you're standing there looking off at them you notice elmford is standing there and she's just looking at you and you can't really see like a smile on her face or whatever, but you see she stands and she does a little wave and then she puts a hood up over her head, <laughs> turns her head really quickly and you see a little smile on her face and then she darts off into... Didn't I call that? Yes, yeah. you did! <laughs> Away yeah, as was... Duskwing runs off into the city and into the darkness. Nice. Isla sits there with a tear... <laughs> And a big, tooth, sharp, toothy smile. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where we will end the session. Yay. Yay. We've left the island. We left the island. And I didn't jump overboard and swim back. No, nope. <laughs> she did it. <laughs>